And it says we're live. So live we are. Hello, happy Friday, everybody. It is that time again. We have a shelf, a shelf full of goodies to sell today. Man, I always just have so much anxiety over picking just the right things to put in the sale. I just never know. I want to I want to bring it all to you guys. And I have to select just like 40 items. So there we are. Hello, hello, everyone. We are also, I'm testing something. I'm streaming over on my on my Facebook page, not in the group, on my Facebook page. But if anybody is over on Facebook watching this, you need to come over to YouTube in order to bid. We will not take bids from Facebook comments because my moderators can't see them. I can see them. My moderators can't see them. Uh, so we are only going to honor bids on YouTube, on YouTube. So come on over. And please, if this is your first time, send over an email right now before we get going to the niche lady at gmail.com with your real name and your YouTube name, just as it shows up over there in the chat, just like that. Same spelling. That's the only way we have to find you. And so we need you to do that so that at the end of the auction, I can send you an invoice. Actually, it won't be right at the end of the auction. It'll be tonight <laughs> after I take some downtime after the auction. But yeah, yes, yes, yes. So we have our moderators over here. They are the ladies and gentlemen with the wrenches next to their names. And I think they show up in blue too. So sets them apart. They also type in all caps and that is A-OK. -okay. The reason they do that is so I can kind of see what's going on over there. You know, if there's anything that needs to be brought to my attention, they type in all caps. I'm just really trained to know that my moderators are typing in all caps. So I appreciate it if you would let them be the only ones to type in all caps. They also will have this running all smoothly. So they, they all have done this so many times. Like we have like this fine tuned machine going. So I do everything in auction format and I start everything at a dollar. So the bid started a dollar and you can bid, you know, the next dollar increment or you can power bid and kind of try to scare away the competition and, you know, put in what you want to pay for the item. That actually works pretty good. Um, but they will, I have dogs under my feet. <laughs> I was lucky. <laughs> Just wandering in. Um, my mom is here helping today. So uh, we'll do the bidding and we don't have a timer. What I do is watch the flow of the bids. When the bids are slowing down, I start counting it down, going once, going twice, and then I will say sold. And when I say sold, you don't hear when I say sold right when I say it. We're going to test and see how long it takes you to hear what I'm saying. So when you hear me say this type, I hear it over in the chat. And we're going to kind of count here how long that takes. I don't see it yet. Not yet. Not yet. See, this is called lag. This is, there we go. So Julia Perfecting Pearls just heard it. So the way we keep this fair is I don't call the winner right when I say sold because that's not fair. You haven't heard it yet. There's a, you know, multiple second delay there. So really when you hear me saying going once, going twice, you have plenty of time to get those bids in for me seeing the comments, right? So I forgot who is calling our soul today. I think it's either going to be Melissa or Tiger. Who's over there? Who's going to call the souls? Did we work that out? Let's see. I'm watching the chat over here. Da, da, there's Tiger. Tiger, are you calling our souls? Tiger's going to call souls. Okay. So when Tiger hears me say soul, he's going to type it over there in the chat. And Tiger's not the one who's going to call the winner. I will be able to see the winner. I see everything in real time. But it's going to get typed in by one of our other moderators. I believe we got Tri-State Picker Mom is going to type in who actually won that lot. Now, keep this in mind. First off, make sure you're in live chat mode, not top chat. When you first come over, YouTube automatically puts you into top chat. 
Although on mobile, I've noticed on my phone, it doesn't. On my phone, it puts me in live chat. So if you're on a phone, you're probably in live chat. If you're on a computer, it puts you into top chat and you need to switch over to live chat. And just, it's a little, it's a little, just a little toggle right at there at the top of the chat. So do that. Also keep in mind, YouTube shows your comments in a different order than they actually come in. They will always show you your comments first. So it's not necessarily the order in which it came in in real time. But rest assured, I use a software that lets me see the comments as they're coming in in order. So um, we've got a pretty good track record of keeping this fair and square, and we, we do our best. And also, keep an eye, uh, Julia, Perfecting Pearls, is going to tell you what lot we're on. We've had some confusion in the past. Really? Really, Zena? <laughs> you guys, you know my poor little, my poor little senior dog. She, she goes through these spells. She has to clear her lungs. And uh, it's just, it's such a pleasant sound. <laughs> Ah, the life of Danny here. You okay? You okay? I know there's lots of excitement with all the puppies here visiting you. It's okay. All right. All right. Also, what we do, this is the hard goods sale. So I do jewelry sales every other week, and then I do hard goods sales every other week. So these are... These are the items that we are selling today. You can see we have quite a variety here. And what we do on today's sale is once you have spent $50 or more, whether that's on one item or five items, doesn't matter. Once you hit that $50 mark, I'm going to give you $15 of shipping credit. It's basically free shipping. Most things ship under that amount. Um, but just know it is a $15 shipping credit, and uh, that pretty much get, gets you free shipping on those items. Sometimes, though, I do have packages like, you know, if you buy 20 different items, and I've got to ship it in two boxes and, and all of that, and the shipping's, you know, like 30 bucks, I still can only do that $15 shipping credit. Because this auction a major reason for it is to support the niche foundation the niche foundation is a nonprofit that i formed that helps disadvantaged women start their own online businesses so a portion of your proceeds are going to the niche foundation so i have to be fiscally responsible is that the word fiscally responsible um with the funds it's attorney speak I, yes i have attorneys telling me how to manage all this stuff so so that's what we do. Okay, um, that that shipping credit is whether you are international or domestic, by the way. So if you're international, yep, I'm happy to ship to you. And just know that if you spend over $50, there will be a $15 shipping credit. So there we have that too. Okay, did I forget anything? My mods are always really good at telling me if I forgot something. But I think... I think we're good to go and we're actually going to start a little ahead of time because I want to get to as much of this stuff as possible. I'm really going to try not to be too chittery chattery today because I mean, I, I've got stuff I really want to show you guys. So fiduciary responsibility is to the foundation. Yes, that's the word fiduciary. I knew it was, I knew, I knew it was an F word. <laughs> All right. We good to go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. The giveaway is at the end. If you are the winner of an item or the underbidder, and an underbidder is somebody who comes in right behind the person who wins, because we all know it takes more than one person to have a successful auction, right? So I appreciate all of you. Whether you win or not, your bid is really important to me. So to honor you for participating, I do a giveaway at the end of the sale. Now here's the thing. You get entered into the giveaway in the first hour of the sale and you must be present to win when the giveaway actually happens. So um, that's just my way of saying thank you. And we've got some cute little stuff today for giveaways. Got lots of little sit-abouts. 
and things. <laughs> okay, some of you are getting your packages. Yay, yay, yay. I've been I've been getting really caught up on shipping. I gotta tell you, uh, no big long delays anymore. I, I had a couple of rough, rough weeks there. Um, but I have actually hired somebody to help me with shipping now. Yay! Very excited. All right. And Mary got her mystery box. Yay! All right. Okay. And I got to look over here and see what we're starting with. <laughs> and some of the fun. So those of you following the saga of my, my house from Hades. <laughs> uh, yes, the heater is fixed. The heater is fixed. She does refuse to put the isopads under the unit so that the vibration into the house stops. So we still have this monstrous noise. And the sink in the kitchen is all clogged up. And the dishwasher is all clogged up. And the whole plumbing works is all clogged up. And I'm just... I'm smiling because if I don't just do that, I will cry. <laughs> so as we were cleaning stuff up and taking stickers off, we were working on like the side of the sink, you know, that's still good and there's dishes piled up. I like this house, this house. If anybody is like, if you have re rental property in the Las Vegas area, hey, talk to me. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm a good renter. Okay. We are going to start with these two cute little, I was going to get some little air plants to put in, and I put in them, and I just never did it, but I thought, you guys would like these. Now, I do not know. I do not know what that mark says. I don't know. I don't even know if that's right side up or if that's right side up, you know, but they are marked. They are signed, and there's two of them, and they're super cute, and we're starting them at $1. $1. And we'll see if there's any, are they, I, they seem a little big to be sake cups. That was my first thought, but they are a little larger than the sake cups I'm used to seeing. Maybe, maybe Japanese teacups. Maybe they're Japanese teacups. I don't know. I just know they're really, really cute. And they are, I actually have a ruler here. Thank you, Brie. Um, Brie, Brie gave me a little care package. They are two and a half inches tall. Two and a half inches tall and two and a half inches in diameter. I see lots of sake. Yeah, we're up and go. I see eight dollars, but I see it. Oh, I can't scroll up. Hold on. I'm sharing a mouse with mom over here. I thought I saw, yeah, I saw Melissa's eight dollar first. They are rice bowls. Okay, maybe they would be great for succulents, wouldn't they? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Good little little flower pots. Ten dollars with the aging beginner. I am seeing ten dollars. That is for the pair. Ten dollars, and I am going to start calling them off. Going once, going twice, and looks like they're going to be sold. That's the other thing. That's the oops. Thank you, Mom. That's the other thing that's really helpful if you're in the bidding mix and you're out and you say out. That's super, super helpful. I can then just move on to the next thing. All right. I see the soul. Uh oh. Somebody's got to pick who's going to say soul. <laughs> That went to the aging beginner for ten dollars, and then uh, if, Melissa, if you could write the underbidder over on the spreadsheet, that would be awesome. Also, all right. Oops, I did not take his little price tag off. Look at that, my bad. Okay, it's gone now. <laughs> all right, this is just a fun little piece that I found. It is a flamingo. He is wood, actually. He's wood, and he's got one little. He's got one little goober to his paint right there, kind of like my nails. <laughs> but uh, he's got a little fake plant in him. But you could pull that little fake plant out, and you could put a little air plant or a real succulent or something. Um, but I know you guys do like your flamingos. 
and I'm starting them at one dollar. There we do. All right, we're on track. All right, we're bidding on the flamingo planter and the fake plant. It's in there good though. Like if you wanted it to stay, it could stay. And it's got this little kind of a, a magenta flower in the middle. Could have saved it for the purple sale, I guess. Purple sale's coming up. Uh, it might be two weeks from now. I got to count how many things I have. I have quite a few now, including lots of purple glass. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> All right, we are at $6 with Tammy D. $6 with Tammy D. Oh, I got you. Well, that's good. You know what? If, if Tiger has lag, that actually is a great job because that, that helps everybody with lag for that sold to come in. That keeps it super fair. I love it. Okay, I see $6. We're going to say going once. It is tough to find purple in the wild. Going twice. And our little flamingo guy is sold. Now have I got the right thing? Yep. Mm -hmm. And we're headed to Laughlin. There's our sold. So I did not see who the final bid was. I don't have control of my mouse, so I can't scroll back up. So I'm going to have to leave it up to my mods to keep track of that, and I will call it when it gets typed in, which is right there, Tammy D for $6. Tammy D got that for $6. Uh-oh, why did the underbidder get? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Just got to make sure we keep that. So Tammy D is the winner. You're good. You're good. And then $6. Okay. And Melissa is going to. What is arts and animals? Is that? That's Rachel. I know that's Rachel. Oh, because Rachel's helping you. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Rachel's making sure you're doing it right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're getting some purple glass dishes. Nice. Jordan's modeling photos were fabulous. Yes, yes. She's just getting better and better. All right. Here's our. I was. I'm just waiting for the underbitter to get plugged in over here before we move on in case there's any issues so I don't know who the underbidder was so let's make sure we get that put in over there um because I don't want anybody to miss out we got who was doing um I see Melissa's in there Melissa do you have the underbidder on that okay all right well, I'm going to try to keep moving forward and hopefully we get that caught up. All right. I have a little three piece condiment. Actually, it's salt, pepper and a little like a little jam jar. Now, I don't know the age on these. I really don't. They are. They got a little mark on the bottom. That's that's what I see. It almost looks like a J or a little swirl. Right, so that's what's on the bottom. They are silver plate. This one has the little little lid and it's got a little plastic little scoopy spoon in there. Scoopy spoon, there's a technical term for you. Blue Flam Flamingo Mercantile was the backup bidder on that. Did we get that put in? Okay. Keep it blue yeah, we need I need I need that like the name in there just like it shows up in the chat too or I'll get totally confused and lost um, The salt and peppers you can see I did not clean these out did not So there's some you know that It's pepper dust. There's pepper dust Inside and they come in their little rack I don't screw that lid back on there Okay, that's it. That's a whole little set just like that it's very cute it is pressed glass in a diamond pattern and i see linda's at ten dollars i don't know if it's a jeanette glass i guess that's possible but yeah i don't know i don't even know if that's actually a letter or i'm just seeing the little i call it the little belly button of the glass you know i don't i just don't know 
that's what I see. Let me look at a different one too. See if it's the same. Sneeze from the pepper. Yeah, because it, well, maybe it's a number, which is very typical of some of these old press glass pieces, you know. Yeah, it's just not going to show up like I want it to. But there you go. We are at $17 with Linda Barnum. $17, $18 with Susan. Is it Weehee or Weehee? And uh, welcome, Susan. I don't recognize your name. So we're just going to double check that your email came through. So we have your information. I have Linda at 19. Linda's at 19. And some of you are saying it's way. Oh, it's just way. Okay. That's even easier. All right. You sent it. Awesome. 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 All right. We're going once. We're going twice. This is a thing too. Once I start counting, I do not, I do not start over. I might slow down a little bit if I see a bunch of bidding coming in to give you a chance, but you got to know the next thing that I'm going to say is sold. And I see I hate ending on a tie, but I did see Lindsay Franzoni. And um, Lindsay, that's another, another new name I'm not familiar with, so welcome. And we are going to make sure that we have your email as well, because it does look like you won that lot. Yes, so we need to make sure that we have uh, Lindsay Franzoni. Franzoni. Yep, for $20. And then we will count the underbidder as Susan Way. Susan Way, it was twenty dollars. Okay. All right. Okay, this is like the cutest thing I've ever seen, and he does have one little boo boo that I'm going to show you, but I absolutely could not leave him behind. This is a piece with little mousies playing in the cookie jar with the Oreo cookies, with the one sleeping on the lid. It is after the party. Mice in Cookie Jar Limited Edition. You can see there from 1996. Now here's what you need to be aware of. He's got a little, he's got a little boo-boo on his foot. So his little foot is chipped off. Little foot's chipped off, but you hardly notice it. Hardly notice it. And I thought he was too cute to leave behind. Too cute to leave behind. So this is lot number four, after the party, mice in cookie jar. And I see $12 with Linda Barnum. $12. We're going once. Look how cute he is. We're going twice. And we're going to call him Soul. All right, and that's how it works because I, I see another bid came in after I called sold. You guys are battling it out, and the winner is going to be oh, Linda got back in at $14. So, Linda Barnum for $14, and Julia Hardy was our underbidder. Next, I have the uh, Remember the video where I was calling um, a, a, a artichokes asparagus? Well, these are actually asparagus. Um, these are some of the most interesting things I think I've found. They are candle holders. I do believe could be used as a vase because they're, I don't think this will go down in there. It's actually like really deep. Okay. Or it could be a pen holder. Oh, I just noticed something on it I had not noticed before. Look at, that's how deep it is. It's pen deep. But you know what I just realized? This one has had a repair. And I did not see that when I bought them. Let me look. This one's fine. This one has had a repair. Oh, I hate that. 
hate that. I just fun sponged myself. That's crazy lamp lady would say. But we're only starting them at a dollar. So anybody would like the asparagus vase candle holder things. They are pottery. See they're on the bottom. They are pottery. And they've got some kind of a mark. I don't know what that mark means. The mark is like a strawberry. Look at that mark. It's a very interesting mark. Or does it go? Does it go that way? One does not know. Looks like a strawberry to me, though. But they are signed. And we are at $8 with Melissa, is what I see the bid at. $8 with Melissa. $9 with Deborah Heimbecker. $9 with Deborah. Are we winding down? Let's start counting them. Um, going once, going twice. Oh, I hate ending on a tie. So I'm going to give it just a second to get that last bit in before I say sold. And that's going to go to. The silence, I can't. There it is. <laughs> oh, ended on a tie again. But it looks like Marie Smith is our winner. Marie Smith is the winner. And I never know how to do this. What's more fair? Do I give the underbidder status to Tammy A or do I give it to Deborah Heimbecker? I never know how to do that. Yeah, I'm leaning toward giving it to the person who came in with that same bid at the same time. But Nick, you cannot be crawling in here, young lady. You're going to be in trouble. Oh, she just wants to be near me today. She's probably not feeling good. Okay. So you guys tell me, underbidder. Tammy A, I'm good with that if you guys are good with that. Fair. All right. Thank you, Deb. You're the most important per person to have spoken up on that. So thank you for that. Our next lot, am I on track here? Yep. Next lot is a pair of amber glass pieces. This piece is kind of got a summer sew kind of thing going on here. Summer sew is when the colors fade into another color or fade into a lighter color. Um, it is hand blown. It is not Murano, as you can see, because it's cloudy, but it's a, a fairly heavy blown glass vase. So you're going to get that one. And you're also going to get this one that is a darker amber all around. This is also, I believe, hand blown, but you cannot see a pontal. So it actually could be mold blown, meaning this was glass that was blown into a mold. That's why you wouldn't see a pontal. Um, it does have some controlled bubble going on. And a lot of times that is an indication that it's from Mexico. Mexican glass has this kind of not so controlled bubbles. <laughs> I mean, it's technically controlled bubbles, but they're not very controlled. So control just means they're supposed to be there. All right. So both pieces is what you're getting. And we are at $10 with Brie. I see. I got three people came in at $10, but Brie was first. Um, Brie was first at $12. And then Melissa's at $14. So we got Melissa at $14 to break the tie going there. Melissa's at $14. Mary Spry is at $15. Thank you, Julia. I try. I try. I don't want anybody ever to think this is not fun or it's not fair. I like I want this to be a fun Friday afternoon. So I see $15 is with Mary Spry. $15 is with Mary Spry. Tammy, you need to be 16 or better. So Mary's at 15 and I'm going once. And I'm um, going twice. Thank you for that, the Silver Stuffed House. That's I love that name because that's 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 my life story. And I'm going to call them sold. You know.
no, this is not going to work. She's Stand by as I get a large Rottweiler out of my path. Zena, you, you, I can't, how do I, I can't, look at her. I can't I make her move. All right, I'll reach over you. What do you do? Like, she just wants to be close to me. <laughs> All right, looks like the winner is Joanne Young, and our underbidder was Tammy Vintage Tidbits. Did I get that right? I couldn't see if Tammy was the first one at 17. Yeah. All right, there we go. All right, a lot of you guys liked this piece when I. It's supposed to be turquoise. Yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> I leave something away. Um, a lot of you liked this piece when I picked it up on my San Diego trip. And it has such a nice, I yeah, just a spring kind of feel to it. Look at this twist in the in the pottery and then the inside is this gorgeous blue and it is i i do believe it's probably I, i'm thinking it's a hobbyist piece just based on what i see here i mean it was fired there's the there's the points where it you know kind of sat in the in the kiln and fired but i i mean if it is a maker i don't know what maker it would be but it's pretty spectacular. I love it. I love it. And we are at, I saw 24 with, now that's your name backwards, isn't it? It's Amanda. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to work really hard. All right, I see uh, 25 with Patty Shaw. Hi, Patty. 25 is with Patty Shaw. How can you tell if something's a hobbyist piece? It just generally has, I mean, this is the typical look of the base of a hobbyist piece where it looks very like glossy and um, there's no signature, there's no maker's mark. You, you know, that's, it's kind of just, it's just a feel that you learn because um, there was a lot of pieces that were, um, produced as like, what do they call it? Greenware? Greenware. Mm -hmm. Really like back in the 70s, 80s, it was a big, big thing. Like everybody was painting stuff. I was painting stuff. I remember painting stuff back then. And then um, the thing that is interesting though, is this was fired in a kiln, which most amateur people can't do. They don't have a kiln. Some do, some don't. But it's not, I don't think it, it's like a, a mass produced or marketed piece. So that's really what hobbyist piece kind of means. It's it's kind of a one of a, a one of a kind as to you know the colors they chose and the way they did it. So I hope that explanation works. It has the look of vintage Catalina pottery. Yeah, it, yeah, it does actually. It looks it looks like a California pottery piece. And we are at thirty one dollars with Patty Shaw. You taught ceramics for 17 years and you will see kiln marks on the bottom. Yep. Then that's what those little, those three little dots are right there. We are at $35 with Jeannie's Galleria. Jeannie's Galleria is at $35. And we are going once. And we are going twice. Is that my floor bounces? House isn't supposed to bounce like that either. That's either termites or water damage in the subfloor, I'm told. <laughs> and sold. <laughs> oh, this house. It's like the money pit. You remember that movie, The Money Pit? We get the underbidder. Our underbidder. We don't have one yet. We have not. From the last. Oh. From the amber glass. Who was our underbidder on the amber glass? Pin mark marks from firing tripod. Yep, yep. There we go. Jeannie's Galleria got it for forty dollars, and it looks like Deborah Heimbecker was our underbidder. It's the bounce house. I drive the juice box and live in the bounce house. What does that say about me? <laughs> Wait, nope. We are forty dollars with Jeannie's. Forty dollars with Jeannie's. Thank you, Rachel, for staying on top of that. Yeah. 
Okay. Next we have, I'm, uh, yeah, okay. This is a teapot, obviously. Uh, but this, I got the little note. I, I always try to leave the little memos from the sellers on the bottom. Uh, this is an Arthur Wood 1930s teapot. And of course, here is the for real mark. There we go. Arthur Woods. And if you look up, this maker it sells for some pretty good money. Now there is some crazing on it, especially you can see it on the lid there. So let me show you the lid first and then I'm going to show you the rest of the teapot because there is some crazing. All that little crackling there, that's crazing. And you can really see it on the inside of this, which really shows its age. And it's kind of all the way throughout. And that is from age and really not just from age. It's the way it's been stored, the way it's been taken care of. It's probably gotten hot, cold, hot, cold, especially if it's a Vegas teapot. I can assure you it's gotten hot, cold, hot, cold. <laughs> so. Hello, Marsha. I see Marsha came in at $30. Okay, we are at, I see $30 with Marsha. Yeah, I always want to show you guys everything about these pieces. Now, what is good about it is the wear that you normally see on the gold gills on these pieces is not there. It's it, The gold is in really good shape, and there's no chips. No chips or cracks. It is just simply the crazy. Um, what are we talking about there? Who was underbidder for the vase? We have Patty Shaw as the underbidder for the vase. Okay. All right. We're on the teapot. We're on the teapot, right? And Marsha's at 30, or do we need to start over? I want to make sure everybody's up on the same thing. Because you guys are still talking about the last piece. So I just want to make sure we're on the teapot. And Marcia, if you could just confirm you're at $30 on the teapot and not on the vase that we just did. The underbidder is the person who comes in with the last bid before the winner. Marcia's at 30 So we're going once. We're going twice. We're going to call it sold because we messed around a little too much on that one <laughs> all right what do we got next hello kitty hello kitty this is another piece when i bought it i was a little confused i was a lot confused and the bottom was covered up so in all fairness i did not see that all i saw was that and i was just a little confused about this kind of dark looking Hello Kitty, but I guess this is a super, super popular thing. It's a $25 to $30 mug. Um, it is dated 2011 on the side. Dated 2011. If it will focus on that camera. Show the people. Come on, it's just not crazy camera and I don't like to leave it there too long because that just if you just come onto the channel and you see that you're like what in the world is that woman doing stop it <laughs> yeah she is cute and we are at eight dollars with Melissa ten dollars with Amanda I'm gonna call you Amanda unless you tell me otherwise because that's what I see <laughs> all right and we're at ten dollars and i'm going to start counting it down ten dollars going once going twice because if we keep it moving fast today we can get through a lot more stuff and i got good stuff so let's call this one sold okay i thought so yay what do we got next Paperweight. I can't see the thing. Hang on. Hang on. I'll tell you. They're not done bidding yet. Oh. Lag. 
mom's not used to like being in here no, with I'm me talking. Me She's that. used to seeing it as it happens. There's our souls. So we've got Mary Spry for $12. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whoop, 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 whoop. Back up. Uh, Lolo Honey is at $12. And uh, bu, 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 Julia Hardy, actually, we'll call Mary Spry the backup on that because we decided that, right, guys? I I still feel weird about that. Feel like I need to put you both into the drawing at the end. We just might do that. Thank you. I like I like my Tigger too. I used to collect Tigger. I used to have a whole bedroom full of Tiggers. He's my guy. I had a point where I wanted to get a tattoo. I wanted to have Tigger like going down the side of my leg, but with his little his little paws and his head coming out of like my waistband. Like he was riding like on the, I know, crazy. I no longer have those aspirations. Thank you very much. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what, Susan? I forgot, I forgot to put I forgot to put the fairy lamp in this sale. Like I said I was going to. How crazy is that? I should have a silent auction on it. We could do that. I don't have it in here to show though. That's the only thing. Hmm. I'm going to show it next week and next week's sale and have a silent auction on the fairy lamp. Let's, let's test that. Maybe. Okay. This is a lot of two glass paperweights. I'm going to show them both and then I'm going to show them close up. The koala is interesting because see how it's like iridescent in the background so it's 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 got the iridescent irid iridescence around the koala to give it kind of that striking little look there it is not signed that i can find anywhere it's a nice piece though but i don't see a signature and then you're also going to get the little sailboat now the little sailboat has kind of a Norwegian look to me for some reason. And it also is not signed. So I'm putting both pieces together. And we are at $12. I see Deborah Heimbecker first. My Canadian friends are battling it out. <laughs> $13 with Marie Smith came in first. I see $15 with Deborah. $15 with Deborah. All in, all done, as they say, because we're going to start counting it down. Going once, going twice. You guys watch your chat. That's, you know, just watch what the chat is doing because that's where the bids are coming in. So, did I say twice? I said twice, right? Yeah, okay. Because now I need to call them. Sold. Are you snoring for real? Or is that my son making that noise? My son makes weird noises in this room too. And let's see who's gonna win that one. What I need to get ready to help. Oh. Nope. Uh Deborah Heimbecker was at $23. And Patty Shaw, you are our backup bidder at 21. It's I'm H E I M. M? Yep. Oh, sorry. Oops. H E I M B E C K E R. Oh, that just erased the whole thing. I don't know how to do I think Rachel's in there helping you. Yeah. You got help, so right. other people are filling it in for you. Thank you got you. you got backup. You got backup. Okay. Sorry, guys. All right. Oh. I guess we missed some of the uh, price tags. That's okay. That one came off easy. Yay! This is why my floor is such a mess because I just peel off price tags and just mm -hmm. drop them. All right. We have. Oh, that's Lucky snoring under me. Oh, he does snore. My man. mother's dog is snoring under my feet. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. Okay. We have a hippo. We have a little hippo. He's a little wall hanger. You could probably, you know, hang a towel on him or something, but I just like him. So hoping you guys like him too. And he starts at one dollar. He just starts at one little dollar for anybody who'd like to bid on the little hippo. 
I know house hippos were a thing for a while. Are house hippos still cool? Like I haven't seen a lot of the hype on house hippos like I did a few months ago. Well, maybe it's more than a few months. It was like last summer, house hippos were like a thing. I don't even know why they became a thing, but they were a thing. I see $12 with Pamela 13. Pamela 13, I don't know that I've seen your name before. So we're just gonna double check that we have your, your email and your info. I've got Melissa at 14. Melissa is at 14. I've got MW. MW is at 15. You know those, when you have like a name like MW, it can really be hard for me to find you over in my emails too, just because it's just two letters like that. It wants to pull up every email I have that has those two letters. So I'm gonna say it, it might take a little bit to find you. Um, where are we at? We're at $16. Insurance commercial? Oh, was there an insurance commercial with a hippo or something? Was that where it came from? I'm at $17 with Patty Shaw. Thank you, Rachel. A commercial from when you were little about house hippos under beds. I don't remember that one. All right. Hey. I've got the aging beginner at $18. Aging beginner is at $18 going once, going twice, and sold. Okay, Rachel found your email, so we're good. Because if she can find it, I can find it. What's next? Got it. And I think the winner is going to be the aging beginner for eighteen dollars. Wrong spot. Where am I? Oops. There you go. What happened to the price over here, though? How did I do that? I don't know. It's because other people are. Yeah, somebody will. Somebody money. will fix it for you. Now I lost what it was. Is the aging beginner. What was the price on the paperweights, you guys? Those of you who have access to the spreadsheet, if you could just fill that in for mom here. And our backup bidder. Who was our backup bidder on that? Can somebody give me the backup bidder, please? Oh, Michael Sherman is checking in from Facebook. Hello, Michael. Rachel, you got a question there to answer, too. Okay, I can't scroll back up to see who what what's going on here. So um, we don't have our. I don't. I don't know. I've lost it. Everybody's chatting. Melissa, Rachel. It's very hard because I mom. can't see. Because <laughs> she doesn't have the chat in front of her, so she's just counting on me to say it, and I can't scroll back up to see it. So there we go. Patty Shaw was the underbidder. Okay. And I don't know what the price was. We don't know what the, the final price was on that. If that could get filled in there too. Wait for it. Okay. Okay. Now make sure you're over in the box you're supposed to be or that's going to happen again. Okay. Okay. All right. Next we have this little Tonala owl. Now what's cute about him is look, he's a little dish. I'm not sure if he was meant to be like an ashtray or something, but he's the cutest little guy. And he does have crazing now i don't know if that is on purpose or it really almost looks like it was done on purpose to me just looks like it to me but it's possible it's not just have to be aware because the crazing is not on top it's only on his body it's not on his cute little cute little face no. so we've got this little tanala guy Um, we're here, Josie. Is that Italian or Mexican? I'm pretty sure he is Mexican Tanala. Mexican Tanala. Right now, here. who's it? Now we got Josie in here. We got three dogs in the office Sit. right now. Sit. Three dogs. Spoon rest. He could be a spoon rest. Yeah, you know what? He could work as a spoon rest. Sure, why not? And I see Calypso Antiques at 15. I see Melissa at 16. 
We're going to start counting them down. Going once. Going twice. And sold. He is cute. Or a tea bag. You guys have so many great ideas. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, sorry, Lynn. That was a little bit after our sold came in. And the sold went to Melissa at 18 with Calypso Antiques as our backup. And um, Rachel, just double check that we have Calypso Antiques email because they could win a giveaway. All right. It's a doggy obstacle course for me. Yes, it absolutely is indeedy. <laughs> Believe me, they're like behind me, in front of me, walking all over. Yeah, this has a, like a little wax on it. Okay, next. This, I have not been able to verify. This is what the dealer said it was. Viking glass. I don't know for a fact that it is Viking glass. I have not been able to verify that or what its purpose was. I don't know if it was a lid or it's just a cute little, cute little glass owl. It could be a candle snuffer. Or a candle snuffer. You know, that might make sense too because I think I just spotted a little bit of wax on his side that I was sitting here trying to pick off. Possibly. I don't know. It does, oh, it says Viking. It's marked, wait, does that say Viking? It doesn't say Viking. Hold on. No wonder I couldn't find it under Viking because it's Fenton. Pretty sure. We double. No. Wow. No, I think that says Fenton. That is the Fenton logo with an eight under it, which is a 1980s Fenton. It's Fenton. It's not Viking. It is a Fenton owl. <laughs> it's a Fenton ring tree. Ah, okay. All right, that makes sense. And I, I don't see anything, like I don't know what the end thing is supposed to look like because I was looking up Viking. So there we go. So it's Fenton. I wonder if it glows. Oh, thank you for fixing that, Mom. Mm -hmm. Can you hand me the little flashlight right there? Yep, yep. Just, just for giggles. Nope, no glowing, okay. No blowing on the Fenton Owl Ring Tree. I guess that's what we're calling it now. And where's our bid? Our bid is at $30 with Lorraine Lowry. We're at $30. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 is wherever we're at. 30, 30, 30. 30, 30, 30, 30, looking for 31. 30, looking for 31. I got 33 with Patty Shaw. 33 with Patty Shaw. I could never do that high pressure auctioning. I just, just, bleh. <laughs> All right, we're at $33 with Patty, and we're going to count them down. Going once. Lorraine, I see you're 35. We're going twice. Patty, I see you're 36. We're down to the wire. And I'm going to call it sold. Take the tape off of this. So I'll do that while we are seeing. Maybe I'm not. I can't even. How is that all on there? Oh my gosh. I hate when I do that. Here, you do have scissors in here. There's our sold. So that went to Patty Shaw for $36. Patty Shaw, and who was our underbidder, guys? Who was our underbidder? Because we need that too. Or Melissa, you can just type it in if you got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you. I love it. I love a well-oiled machine. Coolest. Okay. I got something kind of weird and kind of cool in a funky kind of way, maybe. I don't even know what kind of wood this is. Here we go. I'm getting the tape and the string off of them. I've got these carved... Things. All right. So here's the tops. 
with the little people heads and then here's the bottom so it's like it's like a knife i think it's supposed to be and then there's the spoon and then there's a like a i don't know a stir or something i don't know what they are actually it is a very light wood I, what do you think that wood is mom's gonna look Ooh. right it's very, very light, light weight for Maybe its size teak? is teak lightweight i do believe these are mid-century um, paddle it would make a good paddle I don't, know. I don't know you guys so there you go and it's they're pretty intricately carved those faces like a cool and you're getting all three of them teak is heavy balsam wood oh. see i thought balsam wood was a was a yeah, lighter that's, color that's white yeah i i i just saw something go by and i just i don't even know what i just saw but that's okay <laughs> yeah i don't know what kind of wood it is but they are very vintage and very cool and do we have a bid I don't see a bid. Maybe avocado wood. Thank you, Michael. I didn't know avocado wood was a thing. But if anybody knows, you would. Monkey pod? Maybe. Maybe. You know, monkey pod is lightweight, too. You guys have all kinds of guesses. All right, I see Melissa at $10. We're just going to count these down. Going once. I see Lori Peterson at 15 Oh, I saw Marsha at 20 I see Marsha at 20 going twice. Whoever gets them can let us know what they are. And we will call them sold. Monkey pod is the same as jacaranda as a bit of trivia for you. Oh, all right. I've never seen anything made out of jacaranda wood, though. It's not normally the wood you see things made out of. Are we on number 15? We are. See this old gift. Yep, yeah, looks like we got Marsha at $25. And Melissa is our underbitter, which I think Melissa can remember to put in there. She's got it. So you can tab over to input the 25. They can't change where your tab is. Okay. So you're good. Okay. Oops. How do I have new comments and I'm stuck? Hold on. Hold on. What happened? This is not good. Here we go. Woodworker's term for jacaranda is monkey pod. Oh. Thank you for that education. That's awesome. See, wasn't the tree in Mimi's backyard a jacaranda tree? Yes. With the purple blossoms yes. and the big seed pods. And All right. She hated that tree because it was so messy. Oh, and I so remember messy. loving that tree because it was so cool. I hated it because the bees <laughs> Oh, yeah, the bees liked it too. Okay. It is lot 15. You know what that means. It is, number one, your last chance to get in on the drawing. But number two... It is mystery box time. Now, here's the deal. I have one mystery box this week because those mystery boxes got me way behind when I did more than one. So until I get completely organized and caught up, I'm only doing one. But I'm going to give you a sneak peek of something I'm going to put in it. Or how's that? So I'm going to put the little miniature art glass piece that looks like Murano, which may or may not be Murano. That's some paper sticker. I wish I'd have gotten that all off. So I'll show you close up. You can see past the paper sticker under there. It is clear, believe it or not. It is clear, but there's a white cased little piece in there. So the mystery box is a mystery, except you will know that this piece is coming in it and things like this piece. Just saying. I do send out a questionnaire to find out your favorite colors and what kinds of things that you like and what you'd like to see show up in your mystery box. So it will be custom curated just for you. Yep, we're at $5 increments now. Once we go over $50, we do ask that you bid in $5 increments. It just gets us through things a little bit faster and nobody feels really bad about losing something for a dollar once we're up in those price ranges. So I am seeing Sherry Ramsey came in with the 
first 55. So we're at $55 looking for 60. I've got Kendra Joe came in with the first 65. Um, we're at 65 with Kendra Joe. 65 with Kendra Joe. 70 with Lynn. Lynn, how do I say your last name? Is it is it Comble or Comble? Not as if I can hear you. Tell me, but maybe you can help me figure that out so I say it right. I've got 75 with Lolly's stuff. You're bidding on a mystery box. You're bidding on a mystery box, but I'm going to give you a sneak peek of one of the items that will be in the mystery box. I've got Barbara at $80. Barbara came in first at $80. Lynn is at $100. She's throwing down the hammer there. $100 with Lynn. $100 with Lynn. I'm going to count it down. Going once. You guys, I do make sure you get your values worth out of these mystery boxes. Going twice. And sold. We're doing good on time, too. Yay, I'm going to get them more stuff. All right, should be seeing that sold. And of course, it's already scrolled past where I can see again. There's our sold. Oh, it looks like Lolly Stuff came in for the snipe. Lolly Stuff came in for the snipe. And Rachel's just going to make sure that we can find your email. And she'll give me a little thumbs up in the uh, chat there. So Lolly's, it's, it's Lolly Z asterisk stuff. I don't even know where that is on here. No. There you go. There we go. And we were at 105. There you go. You, you don't have to, you know, you, you could just put 105 and hit oh, enter. Okay. It already knows it's a dollars. Okay. There we go. All right. So we're done keeping track of underbidders because that was the last lot. So that'll take some pressure off now. Purple day is coming up. I'm hoping in two weeks. Thank you, Rachel. I see that. Okay. This is just a cool little piece that I found. Um, it is ceramic, but the little flowers look like inlaid wood. I thought that was just the neatest thing. It's all ceramic though. It is ceramic. It just has that look and it's trying to get the glare off of there. It's a black base with the little colorful flowers and it has the remnants of a sticker inside. It's a candle holder and it is Garden Ridge. Garden Ridge is the maker. And that's what the bottom looks like, but it's ceramic with a look like little inlaid wood flowers. It's just really cool. I'm sure we got you, Tri-State. I'm sure we got you. And we're starting it at $1. Remember, everything starts at $1. So if only one person wants it, then $1 it will be. And if you have spent $50 or you think you're going to spend $50, remember that basically free shipping. So you pay a dollar for it. The Aging Beginner, there you go, $1. I think Aging Beginner is probably close to their uh, their $50 now, right? They're getting, yeah, it's very close, very close, yep. Yeah, there. All right, I see uh, Cecilia Silva at $6. Cecilia's at $6. Nope, the Chihuahua bottle is still coming, still coming up. Is that a flaw in a leaf? Oh. Okay. All right. You guys that have bid, that's a good catch. I did not see that. I did not see the little flaw there in that one little flower petal. You're right. And it's, um, it is like a, it, these are painted, I believe. So it's like a little glaze chip kind of a thing going on there. Yep. Sorry. I did not catch that beforehand. So if anybody wants to retract their bid, you are more than welcome to. You can do that. All right. Melissa, are you still good at 10? 
it's a really interesting neat little piece and that would you know you could put that put that part on the back it's got lots of nice flowers on the front all right i'm going to count it down going once is my chat frozen going twice okay she's good we'll call it sold uh, see how i do that sometimes <laughs> And pretty sure that is going to go to our lovely Melissa as soon as the soul comes in, which I think it's coming. Any second? There it is. Yep, Melissa got that one for $10. Yeah, you can just put Melissa. I know Melissa. <laughs> The biggest thing is if you type, if, if they win more than one thing, that it's consistent in the way you put the name in. Because when I go to sort to do their invoice, I, I can't have it be different because then I'll miss putting it on the invoice. So, all right, squirrel. Yes, it's a squirrel. It's a little squirrel planter and he is green. And I don't know who makes him. There is his bottom. I don't know what all of the little scritchily is, if that was supposed to be a mark of some kind. Tigger, you're making my camera not focus. It's Tigger's fault, you guys. See, I don't know if that is signed or not. You be the judge. It could be, it could be. But he's got the look, you know, he's got the look. I see a power bit of $20. It's warm in here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm sweating. I think my heater's now working too good. You need to actually go turn some air on. I think is you what I have need to, to do. Turn the heater down. No, there's the heat hasn't come on. We just need some air. Hull, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. We are at 25 with Lynn. 25 with Lynn. <laughs> I did say it was Tigger's fault, not Tiger. <laughs> I did, I did, I did. Here, Mom. Use your arm. You don't have to be on camera. Just hold it on camera. Go, there we go. And I'm gonna go turn some air on. Oh yeah, it's so. Uh... And the ease at 26. It is 76 degrees in here. Oh, there we go. Have a little airflow now. All right. We're at $30 with it's a McCoy. Oh, thank you, LaDonna. It's a McCoy. It's a McCoy squirrel. $30. Just saying, good job, Mom. <laughs> $30 with Lynn. And I'm sure Rachel's really happy you're here right now. She just went down the hall to get some. Because because normally <laughs> Rachel's the one who has to come in here and do the, the standby. Mm -hmm. All right, I see $40. $40. Going once. Going twice. I did not know that was McCoy. See, I learned things too. And so. And the bids are still coming in. Oh, and it's free shipping now. Let's see, where's my soul? Do, 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 do. Soul, there it is. Lynn Comble. I hate saying people's last names wrong. I really, really hate it. There we go. Perfect. All right. How about a cute, cute, cute little owl mug? He's like got the stoneware little mottled blue and brown thing going there. You can see his little, little feather pattern. Super cute. He is not, not signed. He's got kind of that partial glazed and partial knot kind of look. Doesn't look like he has ever been used. He'd be a cute little planter too. 
Am I auctioning any blankets today if I get to them? Possibly. Um, we are at $22 with Decor and More. $22 with Decor and More, who likes their almonds. $22 going once. Going twice. Jeannie, we usually go till 4 o'clock. So we do as many lots as we can get in before four o'clock. Did I say going twice? Well, if not, I just I said it. it. Okay. <laughs> There's Lucky. There's my <laughs> naughty little friend. Hi. How old is Lucky? Lucky is 14, 14 years old. Lucky is 14 years old. All right, I said going twice, so the next thing I'm gonna say is sold. Lucky, I almost stepped on you. Okay, I cannot have two dogs down at my feet. This just is not gonna work. Go find a place, find a place. You bid on Lucky. <laughs> Lucky is priceless. Yeah. Did we get our winner on that one? Okay, no. yep. Oh. Oh, there's the sold. Oh, Tiger, you got a lag going, I bet. That's okay. It gives people time to get the bid in. Just makes me wait a little bit for the next lot. And our winner is... Who's the winner? Who's the winner? Who's the winner? I hate to keep going until we get things straight. But you guys got big lags because you're not hearing me say it. That's why people are like, Burr. anybody, somebody, help. Who was our winner on that lot? I think it was Lynn, right? Was it Lynn? No, Kathleen Dumas for $23. Kathleen Dumas for $23. Okay. All right, next we have a butterfly, because butterflies are free to fly, fly away. Okay, this is an Edith H. Cagrizi. Edith H. Cagrizi was made for Hallmark. It is vintage. I will take it out a little bit better so you can see what it looks like. There it is. It's really nice. It is a ceramic. It's a hand-painted ceramic butterfly that you can hang. Oh, she's got the little tag that shows that it is hers. I'm going to put it back in before I drop it. Get it safely back into its little packaging. Okay, there we go. I forget, I found a year. Maybe I found the year by looking it up. But um, she is vintage. I believe it was 1990s is what I found. All right. And we are at 12 with Mary Spry. Fourteen, fifteen, seventeen with Sherry Ramsey. The 17 with Sherry Ramsey. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Not yet. See what happens here. See, they're still bidding. Still bidding, and it's gonna go to there's the sold Sherry Ramsey for 20. The next item up for bid this is a piece of recycled glass, as you can see. It's a plate, would probably make a good candle holder, or could hold your keys, or whatever you want to do with it. Oh, it could be a spoon rest, but it's a nice, thick piece of recycled glass. I do not know the maker. There's different companies that make this. There's Eco Glass, there's San Miguel. 
a um, few different ones. Some of it's made down in Mexico, but the telltale sign of that recycled glass is the swirlies, the swirlies. And it's really, really kind of cool too. I'll get close up and show you the intricate little swirls in the glass. There we go. This is what the back looks like. The back's almost kind of frosted. And it's got a ever so slight curve to it. The dog seat. And it measures about six and a quarter inches square. About six and a quarter inches square. You know, it is a great candle base. It absolutely is. Especially glass. Glass cleans so easy with the wax. Okay, what what's our what's our dilemma? Wait a minute. Did I goof? Did I? Oh, you guys, I messed up. That's my fault. It's my fault. Um, then how to fix it. I've already started on this, so I don't, we'll just change it on the spreadsheet. If somebody can switch out. Wait a minute. What did I do? Cobalt blue. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah well, I can't switch now. I've already shown this. Right. Um, okay, just change that, just change that, type over that, and put recycled glass candle holder. My bad. So we're doing this. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Yep, I'm going to keep going. Hi, Raylene. Yep, you guys always go with what I'm showing. We can always fix the spreadsheet. Easier to fix the spreadsheet than fix the video. So, so we are at $18 with Sue Golombeski. 21. I don't know. Oh, your cat attacked the yes. Because that just made my chat go really, really fast and I lost where we're at. Okay, Jeannie's was at 20. Sue's at 21. Sue's at 21. All right. This is what we are bidding on since I have gone through all the explanation already. All right. 25 with Roylene. I'm at 25 with Roylene. I'm going once. I see you're 26, Sue. And I'm going twice. And. Sold. I am sorry to mess that up, you guys. So sorry. Sometimes, sometimes what happens is I put a bunch of stuff up on the shelf and then I find something else and I change things on the spreadsheet and I forget to remove some things from the shelf. And so we're all good. Oh, Melissa snuck in at $28 for the win on that. Melissa for the win. Okay. Next is the little rice pattern teapot. And I did a little research on like, these are quite fascinating. There's a whole story about how they make these. Look at, you can, you see how the little rice dots are more transparent than the rest of it. It's got the little strainer built into the spout there. This has the recessed handle. I'll show you the bottom. It's got your classic made in China which most things are. <laughs> there you go. That is what we're bidding on. Wish I didn't have that glare going because I want you to see the little rice dots. Any more animals? You mean live ones or sit abouts? Yes, I have more animals. I always have more animals. How can I not have more animals? That's what I pick up mostly. <laughs> I'm attracted to all the animals. Okay, any interest in the teapot? Any interest in the teapot? I got $8 with Tri-State Picker Mom. I, I have to say, you will hardly ever see me selling turtles because I collect turtles. But once in a while, I'll let one go, but it's a rarity. All right, I'm at $10 with MW. $10 with MW is what came in first. I see your 10, Janet, but MW got in before you. And I'm going to start counting down, going once, going twice, 
I see Janine's 11, but I've said going twice. So the next thing we're going to say is sold. And the winner is... There's our sold, Janine Saffel. And I'm not sure I've ever shipped anything to you, Janine. So we're just going to double check that we have your, your email. Actually, Rachel is going to double check that we have your email and all will be right with the world. Okay, next I have nine. You guys, <laughs> you guys, I don't know if it's anybody that's here watching, but when I did the video of going to the estate sale, and buy, I passed these over and I got so many messages saying, oh my gosh, go back and get the crocheted trivets. So I went back and I got the crocheted trivets and I'm going to sell them to you. Let me show you. There's nine all together. This is what you're getting in this lot. You've got this nice little crocheted with the 3D flower thing going on here. Could be a doily, this one too. Could be a doily or a trivet. And we've got this one also could be a doily or a trivet, but it's thick. You know, it's thick like a trivet. We've got, thank you, Rachel. We've got this little one also could be a doily or a trivet, but it's got the little thing, you know, to even hang it up in your kitchen. And then we've got like the, the classic crochet yarn ones here. So we got this little geometric one. And this little matching, look, corresponding colors. Gotta love that. And I have two of this one, which is a much larger one. You see the little pinwheel design going on in there. And then we have this large, look, it, it's, it's bigger than my head. It's, it's a rose. It's a trivet for a big pot of stew. And then there's another one equally as large as my head that is also that same thing. So do I count it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's always nice to know I counted correctly. Nine of them. <laughs> yes. Yes. As Jocelyn Crazy Lamp Lady says, matchy, matchy. It will give her credit. That is her saying, not mine. Shell stitch. Okay. I've got Brie. I got Brie in first at $18. Oops, I just about fell on my fanny. $18 with Brie. And we're going to count them down. Going once. Going twice. And my chat is not moving. Come on, chat. <laughs> I don't, there we go. I knew other stuff was happening there. <laughs> I've got uh, Roylene at 25 is what I see as the high bid. And I've already counted them down. So now I'm going to say sold. And I hate when the chat starts freezing up. Wiggle, wiggle. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. There's the sold. I see Roylene at 25 as the winner on those. Okay. I thought you can just put, put Roylene. I know Roy, Roylene is R O. You're on the wrong line. You're typing it over here. Yeah. All right. Somebody help mom. <laughs> I don't know how to spell because I can't see the thing. R-O-I-L-E-N-E. -E. You know what? Maybe somebody who can see the chat can take over. I cannot see. Filling in the spreadsheet. You just, just keep me straight on what I'm doing. How about that? Either Melissa or Rachel, if you could now fill in the, the winners. 
and then she can type in the price. If you guys can do the winner, she can type in the price. There you go. All right. I thought, I thought this was a Charming Tales when I bought it. It is not. It is a Sylvestri. Sylvestri. I don't even know who does Sylvestri. This is called My New Toy. And it's a little mouse riding a mouse. He's riding a wind-up mouse. It's so adorbed. But it looks like the Charming Tales. That's why I thought it was the Charming Tales. So um, it's a division of FFSC. That's what it says on its little tag. A Dean Griff. Dean Griff is the designer. But it says it does not say Charming Tales anywhere on it. And Charming Tales is actually a division of Fitz and Floyd. So I don't believe it is a Charming Tales unless they went through different company changes. I guess that's possible. I mean, this one says these expressive precious animals might be tiny, but they're cute as a button. Candle holders, ornaments, and sitabouts are sculpted and hand painted with amazing attention to detail, all designed by Dean Griff. So there we go. Um, are his are are his legs? Oh yeah, he's he comes in his original box. He is all there. He's all there. That is actually what you're seeing there. It's just the way he's made. He's got a pimple. He's got a pimple. Uh, it's not it's not a chip. It's just a little manufacturer defect there on the back. Now here's the thing with these. I have two. I have two. So winning bidder can choose one or both. You can have one or both. And we are, we have two 23s. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Lord have mercy. That's right. We're fine. Yes, as I just said. It's because we have two. <laughs> Scared me. I thought I had to renumber everything. So we are at $20 with Warren Hart. Hi, Warren. $20 with Warren Hart. It does look like Stuart Little, huh? Hey, wee. I just love that the mouse is riding the toy mouse. I think just that's what a great design. We are at $25 with Melinda Hess. Melinda Hess. That's a new name. Hello, Melinda. At least you might have been here before, but I'm just, I'm not recognizing the name. 25 with Melinda Hess going once. Going twice. So Dean Griff did Charming Tales. So this must be pre-calling them Charming Tales. I'm just saying. Did I say going twice? I think I did. Sold. Jeez. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Got to wait for my soul to come in. And there it is. So Melinda Hess is the winner. Melinda, do you want one or two? One or two? And I'm trying to see who the winner, the underbidder was. Susan Way will be the underbidder. So if Melinda only wants one, I'm just waiting on that confirmation, one or two. And then Susan, do you want the other one for $28? If she only wants one. You need raccoons and squirrels. Mackenzie Mouse is the name of the mouse. Okay. I'm just kind of waiting on the chat to catch up here. Okay, for now, let's just mark it down as she takes one. And Susan Way, which is W-E-H-E. -E, uh, someone else can fill in those for you. Okay. Um, but they sold for $28. One to eight. All right, and then if you can tab down so I can see where we're at there. 
Okay. She just wants one. Okay. All right. Next I have, yes, I have these beautiful blue. I don't even know. What do you call these? What, what kind of bowl thing is this? It's not a ramekin if it has a handle, is it? What do you call it when it has a handle? I don't know. I don't know either. It's a little bowl thing. And I have two of them. Um, but they are made by TST, Genuine Oven Serveware USA. I wasn't going to list these because these do actually have some pretty good value. A handled soup bowl. But I thought you guys who like your blues would like the colors and like the flowers. And so I thought, eh, I'll offer them here. So you're getting them both. Oh, they're for French onion soup. Oh, super chili. Mm. Works for me. When I have chili, though, I want like a much bigger yeah. bowl. I want a <laughs> big old bowl of chili. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> All right. I see Tammy D at $8. We are already at $8. Taylor Smith Taylor. Duh. Of course it is. My bad. I just looked up TSD. Uh, Jill, Rachel can check that for you. I've got decor and more at $20. Now you went chilly. Yeah, Taylor Smith Taylor. Now, now you see what you're bidding on. <laughs> Patty does not like chili, I take it. <laughs> $21 with Tammy D. Some of you are at or very near free shipping at this point in the auction as well. All right. I've got, I forgot where we're at, $21? Is that, where, is that where we were at? So help! I think that's where we're at. Anyway, we're going once. We're going twice. Michael, I need your bid over on YouTube. I Because my mods can't see it. Nobody can really see it other than you on Facebook. So if you want to bid... I need you to come over to YouTube. Come over. I'll give you a chance to get over here real quick. I actually, I know Michael personally. So give Michael a little chance to get over to YouTube. And then I'm going to count him down. Because I can't take his bid unless he's over here on YouTube. So lag wise. Yeah. Well, I announced it at the beginning. I guess I needed to announce that you... I haven't seen anybody else commenting from Facebook. So, all right, we're going once. And I have Joanne Young at $24. Going twice. And sold. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> and he got in before the bell. <laughs> Michael got in at $25 before the bell rang. All right. So we got Michael Sherman at 25 Hi, Mikey. Mom says hi. All right. Michael, you should send me some of your woodwork stuff to sell on the live sales. I bet my peeps would like it. Michael, do you have a, do you have a Facebook page for your, for the stuff that you sell? He makes amazing wood crafted stuff. Like the, the little, the wine stoppers. Those are amazing. All right. How about the fish? You don't, well, you need one. How are you going to sell stuff if you don't have a page? Come on. <laughs> All right. We have an art glass fish. I do not know who the maker is. It's pretty well done, though, as you can see here. I just picked this up at the antique mall not too long ago. Why is my phone ringing? No, don't ring. Um, he has applied glass fins and a tail. And he's done really nicely. And he's got kind of that end of day thing going with the colors. And he is 11 inches long. He is 11, in, a little over 11 inches long. 
and he is five inches tall. So he's pretty good size, pretty good size. I had power bin MW for 25. What do you mean? What about YouTube, Lorraine? Oh, high bid is 45 with Kara. 45 with Kara. It's, I guess that's the power bid you were talking about. How do you get free shipping? You spend $50 or more. And that's it. Uh, I've got, in fact, this little guy right here is now free shipping. So we are at $60 with Kara. $60 with Kara. He is a nice one. You will like him. We're going once. We're going twice. Sold. <laughs> uh oh, goodness. Oh no. Oh no. It's coming down to the wire. Mary Spry got him for seventy five dollars. Woo. Fishy's going to a good home. How about, I don't, I'm, Lorraine, I don't know what you're asking me. Um, oh, you want to know if he's got a YouTube channel? Michael, do you have a YouTube channel with your stuff? I guess that's what she's asking. Okay. You viewers actually identified these for me, and I'm very appreciative of that. These are the Jeanette Swirl Ultramarine Dessert Plates. Now, I have five of them. Uh, the, the color is like the yummiest blue color, and they look like candy swirls to me. So that's why I picked them up, because I love them. Oh, okay. Michael Sherman Gardening, Woodworking, and More is his YouTube channel. There you go. Go connect with Michael. But there is the little plates. They have just a little bit of a dip to them. They are six inches in diameter but they're not they're not perfectly round that's what's cool about them they're a little they're just a little off kilter you know they got kind of that charming thing going with them so you are getting five plates five plates for one money i know never have six or eight i could have sold just four and then just thrown one in <laughs> Might have helped with the OCD brain a little bit better, right? Okay, we are at $20 with MW. They're, they're called ultramarine. So, yeah, they are like a turquoise blue-green color. That's the best as I can describe them. It's a teal. It's like a teal blue-green. Like, my shirt is green-green. So, you can see they're more blue than green. There we go. Where are you live on Facebook? Oh, uh, on my page, not in a group, on my page. I did that because then I can see names. I don't have to get the same permissions from the group. If I just put on, my hope is to get people like Michael to come on over to YouTube. We are at $35 with MW. I love the color of these, you guys. They are so pretty. I'm at 35 with MW, no, the niche lady, the niche lady page. A full set with one in case of clumsy moments. There you go. <laughs> we are at $40 with Rose. Hi, Rose. $40 is with Rose. I'm going to start counting them down. Going once. Going twice. And sold. All right, who wanted the Chihuahua? Who wanted the Chihuahua? Oh, little bidding action came in at the end. And it looks like it's going to Tammy D for $44. Okay, here is the beautiful little Chihuahua bottle. Now, before you start bidding, I 
was cleaning off the sticker and I could not get the sticker residue off and it looks schmoozy. So I did not try magic eraser or any, I just used soap and water and um, a kitchen sponge. So I'm sure that will come off of there better, but I just wanted you to be aware just in case it doesn't. Um, but there is adhesive smoosh. <laughs> Technical terms, right? But the, the, I mean, look at that chihuahua. I don't normally pick up these flattened bottles, but I couldn't resist the chihuahua. Uh-oh. Why does my chat stick like that? And then I can't see nothing. There we go. Ah, yep. Julia, I see you. <laughs> All right, MW. I did not, yeah, I'm just telling you, I didn't try anything but soap and water simply from a time factor. What was it, 10 o'clock at night? I was still cleaning and putting stuff together. So, goo gone. I know, all that stuff works really good. I just did not have the time. And uh, da -da 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 -da, I saw a bid. Wait, I saw a bid. MW, you were at 25. Power bid, 25. Yeah. You know what? If it was a little black chihuahua, I would be keeping it. But I don't have a chihuahua this color. So I'm good letting this one go. All right. Yeah, half that she's, ha she's half that color. Yeah, she's twice that size. <laughs> yeah. All right. We are going once. Going twice. And sold. All right, she is under your chair, by the way. So if you move your chair, fine. I'm not there in the chair. What's what do I got next? Mickey Mouse. Mickey oh. Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Forever let us hold his banner high. Hi, hi, hi. Ooh, I read my mouth. Did I just date myself? It's over here on my page. Pull it back okay. over. I got, I got it. it. Okay. You're not used to the two screen thing. No. <laughs> high tech. High tech. All right. Mama, don't do tech. Yes. MW got that for 25. Uh, yeah, there's a bigger lag on Facebook. Yeah, I think that's a Facebook thing. That And that's also why there was no way we could take bids from both places. All right. You guys saw me pick it up. I could not find this. I searched. I cannot find the pink glass Mickey Mouse that looks like this. He's, he's stippled. This is really, it's textured, so he's stippled, I guess you would call that. And he's got little stippled, little embossed Mickeys on the outside, and it says 12 copyright Disney marked on the bottom right there. And it's got the pink kind of color of depression glass. Don't know anything about him. Don't know anything about him, except he's a Mickey Mouse, and I could not find one like it oh he's old I, I i mean i looked too i thought oh he'll be easy to find hmm, no he's not easy to find i got him in in and what's that city i stopped in yermo yermo <laughs> yes at the little store in yermo there you go M O U S E. yep we are at $30 with Susan Way. I know there was a lot of people screaming at me while I was in that store going, Danny, get that! Danny, get that! Because <laughs> you said so in the comments. <laughs> I tried to channel that vibe and get all that stuff. I know, are we all like Mickey Mouse Club, you know, grew up on people? All right. We are at 35 with Pamela 13. Hello, toothbrusher. Yes, better late than never. We still got really good stuff coming. We're at 35, going once. Going twice. I know, you all are singing the Mickey Mouse Club song now in your head. And sold. Is this the next item? Scotty dog, yep. And the winner is uh, 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 
Patty Shaw at $36. All right, how about a little Scotty dog? A little Scotty creamer. I think this was a promotional item. I don't remember the company. I just remember this being a promotional item that was a giveaway if you bought something. I don't know, was it inside the box even? Like, it wouldn't surprise me if, like, back in the 50s, they did such things. Or right, let's put a piece of glass inside the cereal box, you know. Um, he has the letter. T or I on the bottom. Let's see if you guys can see that. See right under my finger there? There's a letter. Just can't quite make out what that letter is. So I don't exactly know who done him. He has his tail has a seam. So the tail is like two pieces. It's made that way. Remember, mass production. And I did feel just a little bit of roughness. It's not a chip, though. It's where the, the mold seam didn't get polished down. So just to be aware of. 1930s post cereal giveaway. Thank you. I knew it was a promo item. I thought 1950s. So he's even older than that. Does he glow? He does not glow. No, he does not glow. I do have glass coming up that glows. <gasps> Spoiler alert. All right, we are at $13 with Sue Golombetsky. I'm at $13 with Sue. Wait, did I have a power bid bigger than 13? Let me just double check. I don't want to miss something. Oh, okay. No, we're good. That was Melissa's 12. But already, oh, let me give you your thing back there. <laughs> $14 with Melissa. We're going once. We're going twice, and I'm going to call him Sold. You would put your milk in it. Yeah, that would make sense. Was it, did you have to mail in for it, or was it in the box of cereal? I can't imagine that being in the box of cereal. I just can't imagine that being in the box of cereal. But it wouldn't surprise me. Or did they, were they boxes of cereal back then? Or were they like in a tin? <laughs> I don't know. I'm making stuff up here. Just to pass the time. There we go. The post heiress was the original owner of Mar-a-Lago. Marjorie Merriweather Post. Interesting. Very interesting. They gave them out at the grocery store. Oh, okay, okay. Do I have any kitties? Uh, no. Got kitties in the giveaway. All right. This is just a beautiful piece. I can't tell you too much about it, except it is just a stunning, beautiful piece. It is, um, that's a little paint chip there. So it's like a dipped a dipped painted piece of glass and you can see there is a little little paint chip. it's not a glass chip it's a paint chip but you turn that around and the rest of it is just it's stunning it's just stunning that's what it looks like so i guess you would call that flashed you know the blue is flashed on there but this is dipped in paint and made to look just like a almost like a tie-dye kind of a thing i just i picked it up because the colors are just Amazing. It's just pretty, pretty, pretty. And we are at $6. You want $1,000 in a pack of chipless chips ahoy cookies that your son picked up at the grocery store when he was little. Wowza. Wowza. We are at $6. Going once. There are the bids come in. Do you think it would hold a candle? Yeah, I do think so. Because the paint is on the outside, so the, the inside is glass. So absolutely, you could put a candle in that. It would be pretty. Going twice. And so. Wait, oh yeah, okay. 
Wow, your dad bought you a raffle ticket and you won $10,000. What? That's amazing. That's amazing. There's our sold. Who was my winner? I lost it. I didn't see I it. No idea. You guys are, I'm making you talk. And then when you talk, I don't see all the chat. <laughs> Somebody will get it. I think Melissa, Melissa's got her, uh, actually, I see both Rachel and Melissa are ready to type it in right there. Okay. So, uh, looks like I went to Jerry Ellsworth for $10. There we go. All right. We got it. We don't, but everyone else does. They are in, do we are in S. Oh, we're talking about time. Yeah, we're talking about time. Nevada is actually talking about ending daylight savings time. Yay. But what they need to do is let us get our hour back, and then they can end yeah, it. I want my hour back. <laughs> Otherwise, I lose an hour. Okay, Joanne, it looks like you need to refresh. Everybody, we are not bidding on anything yet, and I see a bid coming in. So everybody make sure you're refreshed and back in live chat, and we will go on to the next item which is this awesome teak wood duck. Now I don't really pick stuff up like this too often, uh, but this guy really caught my eye because he's got, are they glass? Yes, he has glass eyes. Don't look at my face. Look at the little glass duck eyes. And the detailing in the carving it's pretty spectacular. Even on the underside, he is fully carved out. And I do believe this is teak wood. Maybe, and Michael, are you still here? Tell me if this is teak wood. It's got the color and it's got the grain. So I'm pretty sure he is a mid-century teak wood duck. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. I did, he's just got a really nice look, nice lines. You know, he sits nicely up on a shelf. I like him. I like him a lot. He does, like you can see, it's a little, it's a little tiny little ding to his little eyebrow there, which you would expect with something of this age. Wait, you wish I would do, he says it looks like duckwood. Really? <laughs> going to reach through the computer and we'll give you a little smack okay you wish I would buy more wood and metal those are weak yeah you know what if it's interesting enough if it catches my attention I get it yeah <laughs> come on Michael what kind of wood is it <laughs> I see Patty Shaw at 26 the glass eyes are kind of the giveaway of it being a quality piece most People would not have used glass eyes on a piece like this. $26 is where I'm at. Going once. You wish I would buy more ducks? All right, ducks it is. I don't like the cutesy 80 ducks, though. I just don't like them. I, maybe it's because I saw too many of them in the 80s. I see $30. I can't remember if I said going once. Going twice. <laughs> we'll just solve it that way. And we're going to call it Michael Sold. Michael, I'm going to spank you. More cows, more ducks, more kitties. I got it. <laughs> I have more Tanala animals. There's our soul. That was MW for $30. Okay, I'm gonna give up some uh, opalescent glass, you guys. Now again, this piece has a little boo-boo that I'm gonna show you. It's got a boo-boo, but again, it's that color that you guys love. So I did not wanna just donate this back. It's not a piece that I would list because of its boo-boo. It cracked, it's not a, a crack that you can feel, okay? The crack is inside the glass here and it's just on this back side here and you can see it internally let me try to try to show you 
it's, it's hard to show you, but it is definitely cracked. See it kind of coming up there and you can see it on the inside too. So it's on that side. So the other side, beautiful. I don't know who makes it. It's a very thick glass. Um, it's like Fenton thick, but I don't think it is Fenton. It could be Imperial, but it's that, it's that, um, this is more blue. This is a more of a, and it is an opalescent. So it's got like the, the lighter sky blue up here, but it's, this is, and this is a blue, blue. There's no green in this blue. Uh, we have a power bit of 25, 25 with Jeannie's Galleria. We're going once. We're going twice. I see your 26, Rose. And we're going to call it Soul. Ooh, are we doing blowy glass next? I think we yes. are. The bits came in hot and heavy at the end, and the winner would be Polly's Projects at 29. I do believe. Nope. Rose at 30. Rose got it at 30. Sorry, I stole your. You should still just be over here on your thing. I shouldn't change from that. There you go. See, it should just stay right there. Okay, next. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. We've got the glowy glass. Hold on. Let me do something. I don't know if I can get it dark enough in here. There we go. We have a uranium glass. Large bowl. Still can't show you that glow like it shows in person. But yeah, this is this is a glower. It's a glower. And the cool thing about this piece, as I get the lights back on, the cool thing about this piece is it's got some inlaid silver as well. So inlaid silver with a little bit of wear to it, as is pretty normal for these pieces. Get my face out of there. Show you the silver. There's the silver. So the silver is in four spots in each side even though it's round, side. Um, I don't know who makes this piece. It's um, seven inch diameter, seven inch diameter by three and a half inches tall. Three and a half inches tall, seven inch diameter, fairly large piece of uranium glass, with silver inlay. There we go. Do I have a, I lost the bids, you guys. I'll let you guys, I'll let somebody catch me up on who's the high bidder right now. I saw 20. You saw a 20? You know why your app crashed, Michael? Because you were being naughty. I'm just going to say. <laughs> That's what happens when you're naughty in one of my YouTube lives. I see 31 with Rose. 31 with Rose, 32 with Susan. Susan, I think that probably puts you, yeah, that'll put you at free shipping. Mm -hmm. uh, 32 is with Susan Way. 32 is with Susan. 33 is with Rose. 33 is with Rose. We're going to start counting it down. Get those bids in. Angel MD is at 33. Oh, no, I already got Rose at 33. Sorry. I've already got Rose at 33. 35 with Roylene. 35 is with Roylene. All right, guys, we're going once. <laughs> we're going twice. I got the power. Do, do, do. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Uh, we're at $40 with Rose. I think I said going twice. I think I did. And now we're going to call it Soul. There's something that I forgot to mention at the beginning of the auction. 
if you guys are like in one of these bidding things at the end and you see it coming down to the wire, I will not let you outbid yourself. Like if you're holding the bid at a certain price and then you want to bump up your bid just to make sure that you keep it, if nobody else bids, I am not going to bump up that bid to your high bid. I'm going to put it before, I won't let you outbid yourself. You can't bid against yourself. Just want to put that out there. Rose Spangenberg for $46. Just put, just type 46. There we go. Is this my little U.S. glass? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. I loved this little piece. And yes, it has a little boo-boo also. Um, but you know, this stuff is 100 plus years old. So I can forgive some of these boo-boos. Um, a lot of my own glass collection has boo-boos because, I mean, that glass has a story. It's been around, if not the world, it's been around the country. So this is a toothpick and it is by U.S. Glass. And this is from 1898. So it is 123 years old. Yeah, 123, 123 years old. So yes, it has one little boo-boo. Now, it really just looks like the gold is gone. And if you watched the video, you'll see that when I picked it up, I didn't even know that was a chip. I just thought the gold was worn off, but it is a flake. So the whole leg is there, but this little top piece of glass is flaked off, which took the gold with it. But other than that, it's amazing. It's amazing. And it's from 1898. And I just, if you glass collectors are like me with the history, it's just thinking that this sat on somebody's table and held their little toothpicks and told its little story. You know, it got to hear all the after dinner gossip. Ooh. <laughs> the pattern is actually called Colorado, is what I'm told. I mean, this guy had his stuff labeled pretty good. So I'm going to leave that on there for you so you have that information. He was really knowledgeable. It was, it was very cool being in that shop. And we are at good. You guys love it as much as I do. We are at $50 with MW. Looks like it would go with an oil lamp for sure. Yeah. Uh, 55 with Roiline. I'm at 55 with Roiline. That means it's free shipping. 55 with Roiline. 60 with MW. I'm at 60 with MW. We're going to call it out. We're, we're in $5 bid increments now, folks. $5 bid increments. We're at 65 with Patty Shaw. 65 with Patty Shaw. And we're going once. And we're going twice. We're going to call this little guy. Sold. And I'm glad he will be loved. I'm so glad he'll be loved. Okay, you love that one? All right. Set your sights, folks. I got something for you. I'm going to let my mom get that typed in. That goes to MW for $70. Um, if you could pull up that tab for me before I share the screen. Where's my mom? There we go. I can't I find got it. it. I got it. All right, guys. I'm going to share the screen with you and show you what you're bidding on. Now, granted, that listing right there is for four, right? For four, yes. one. Oh, well, no, it's for eight, eight pieces. pieces. It's for eight pieces, eight pieces. But I want you to see the value this has and also the spelling of the name. If you want to go do your own research right now, because I don't even know if I can say this, French Porto Valor's Fall. <laughs> I butchered that. All right. But I just wanted to show you that's the real deal right there. You're getting a pair of the yellow. It's yellow opaline is the type of glass. And I, I was going to list these, but then I'm like, you know what? I got glass people that will appreciate what they are bidding on with these. And I hope somebody gets them. And if you want to resell them, you can make a ton of money. Um, these will be a long tail item. This is not something that sells super fast but it sells for super good money. Do they glow? You know what? How lucky snoring. 
<laughs> oh, they glow like crazy. Yes, they do. Here, let me show you. They, uh, they light up. They light up. I don't know why it's like it. It looks so much better in person. Yeah. Like why isn't wow. it showing you guys? Yeah, mom, is that? It's like crazy it's green. Stunningly it's crazy glowing. green, but it's not. It's not coming through that way on the. But yes, they glow. They glow. Yeah. I got Lorraine Lowry at seventy-five. Lorraine Lowry at 75. Give you time to go look up your research on these. I can't oh. find your mouse. So I don't know what you're doing. I left mom on the wrong screen here. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> 75 would not be out of line on these. If I were listing these, I would list the pair for 200 bucks. If I put these on eBay, that's what I would list them at. Super rare find. And I found them at a Deseret Industries. Just thrown in with the glasses. Crazy. All right, we're at $75. We're going to start counting them down. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Buy of the day. Buy of the day right there. Let me not break them. We got to do $5 bid increments, Melissa. <laughs> no, those are going to, those go to Lorraine for the 75. Ah, too late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Melissa. They are, can you, can you, oh no, you can't. You know what? I'm going to put the mouse, hold on, stand by. I'm going to put the mouse over here. Can you type in the spelling of the, the French, here, wait, just do control C for me. Control and C. Let me see if this works. Ha ha. There you go. I did it. I did it. Let me give you your thing back here. <laughs> that worked. Okay, cool. Except I just lost my chat. Hold on. Yeah. Now, why did that come in from fate? Wait a minute. Why did that copy in there as if I'm on Facebook? Oh, that's weird. Okay. Can somebody help me out there? And um, if anybody sees that comment, could you? Oh, it did it because it put it into Facebook and it put it into, okay, that was super weird. That was super weird. I don't get it. Anyway, Lorraine got those. Are we caught up? Yes. Yes. This little guy is made by Orzek in 1990. He's got his original little ear tag, which is a little crinkle. His name is Elmo. Elmo. He's got his little tushy tag. Says the same. Orzik. You can look him up. He sells for some pretty good money. He's got honey all over him from his little honey pot. And he's very collectible. You know, isn't he adorable? I wish, I wish we could get a picture of these dogs. I know. They're laying butt to butt. <laughs> They're literally <laughs> touching butts, one facing each direction. What are you going to do when she starts dreaming, Lucky? <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay, we're at $10 with Daydream Catcher. $15 with Barbara Beard. Here, I'm starting to chat and getting behind. No. Okay. I just want you to know, he smells good. Like, you thought I was going to say he smells bad. No. He's got a very, very light perfume smell. Like, not perfume, but mm. just pleasant. It's just like honey. A honeysuckle or honey. He does smell like honeysuckle. That's what it is. He smells like honeysuckle. And I don't know if that's on purpose or what, but <laughs> it shows normal on YouTube. Okay, well, I, it's cool. It just put it over in both places. Sorry, I'm 
keep messing with your mouse here because I keep losing my chat. <laughs> All right, we are at $26 with our little Elmo, Elmo bear. So when was Elmo Elmo invented? For Sesame Street. Um, what year did Elmo Elmo come out? Like late 60s. Oh, he's that old? Elmo's that old? I think so. Is Elmo like one of the originals? Who knew? So you copied Elmo. What's up with that, dude? All right. We're at $32 with Barbara. We're going to start counting down. Going once. Going twice. And Honey Bear is sold. Okay, well, he copied Elmo then. <laughs> Elmo don't care. Okay. Are we on these? Yes. Yes. Uh, you see, you think Elmo was 80s. That's what I was, I was thinking Elmo it's was possible. 80s too, because the originals were Big Bird. Oscar the Grouch, um, Bert and Ernie, and Kermit, and Kermit the Frog, the, and Miss Piggy, and Piggy. I think Elmo came later. I do yeah. think Elmo came later. Animal, Might Elmo. When Jimmy was little. I was thinking of you yeah, guys. Yeah, and I I, was I, Grover was an original too. Yes. Grover was an original too. Monster at the end of the book. My favorite. Okay. 1980. She Googled it. Rachel's 1984. There we go. Right. Okay. Um, I thought, and I still have not completely ruled it out. I thought these could be Mackenzie Child, which is what made me grab them because they have the look. They've got the painted glass stem. They've got the, the painted hearts on the flute part. These are etched. So there's etched lines. They're quality. Um, they've got all the makings of Mackenzie Child, but I could not find a Mackenzie Child pattern of which to attribute them. So I'm going to let you guys make that call. Um, even on their own as goblets, if I were listing these on eBay, I would list them for 40 bucks. So with that in mind, you can start them at a dollar because that's how we do it. They do, they do look like Mackenzie Child, don't they? They've got the look. They've got the look. Okay, yes, I send you. out I send out invoices this evening. I don't do it immediately after the sale. I give myself a little breather and but I do it before I go to bed. <laughs> That's my goal. And I'm actually gonna be packaging stuff up tomorrow. So if you get that invoice and you pay by well, I don't know, like by noon tomorrow, your item's going to go out really quick. I didn't get the price on the last one. Uh-oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? I didn't get the price on the last one. Hold on. We Before she said Elmo. soul, Barbara, hold on. We were talking about Elmo. It was Cecilia Silva. Hold on, I'm going back. See what happened. I do see Barbara at 34. I see Barbara. Wait a minute. After the soul. Oh, it was right, right after the soul. It was right after the soul, Barbara. I'm so sorry. So what was the? It, uh, 33. Oh. 33. Okay. Yep. You can try to refresh and get back into live chat and see if that helps. You can come over and visit. Where are you? I like to go shopping with people. How do you pay? You heard your name. You pay when I send out an invoice. I'll make sure you pay, buddy. I'll make sure you pay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what I said at the beginning because YouTube shows your comments in a different order than they actually come in. I mean, it, it is a weird thing that YouTube does, but that's why we have all the checks and balances and multiple moderators making sure of the order of things. So, yeah. Do we have anybody bidding on these? We went off on a tangent. Anyone interested in the 
possibly Mackenzie Child goblets, champagne flutes, champagne flutes. Otherwise, I'm going to leave them behind and go on to something else. Are you $18 on these, Melissa? Oh, you had $16. All right, see, I missed it with all the chat. I see Melissa at $18. I see Melissa at $18. All right. Oh, Liz. I'm at $18 with Melissa on these. $18 with Melissa on these. Going once. I'm at $18 with Melissa. Going twice. I see Romans 20, but I'm not backing up. I am going to call them. So. So here's a little trick for those of you. For those of you who are on your phones or tablets, I think it'll work on a tablet too, on a mobile device watching this, if you double tap your screen, it's going to put you ahead 10 seconds. So that's the way if you are behind on, on things, it's going to get you up to speed. Just do it until it doesn't change anymore. That's a real little, little trick for using the phone uh, for the bidding. This is wrong. Uh, what do we got? Melissa. No, she fixed it. We're good. Okay. Okay, how about some more glowy glass? Actually, I, I lied. I lied. This is non-glowy glass. I thought for sure this was glowy glass. This is non-glowy green glass. Look at that. I got fooled. I got fooled. Okay, this is just green depression glass with a beaded pattern. You can feel the beads on this side. And then it's got one, two, three, four, five, six compartments for putting. Oh, this would be really pretty with radishes and carrots and 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 correct celery that. correct what the glowing i'll fix it before i send the invoice it's the non-glowing <laughs> it's the non-glowing glass double tap your phone put you in someone else's video what you gotta double tap up like double tap like on on up by my nose <laughs> Wait, up by my nose, right there. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty. I have $11 with Rose. $12 with Patty. Oh, that's weird because it, it works for me. Maybe Apple's different. I use a Droid. 22. We have a power bit of 22 with Susan Way. Want to confirm you meant to put 22 in, Susan, and I'll start counting it down. Oh, if you double tap the far right, lower, or upper, it will forward it. Forward, yes. Feed it to, yes. Yeah. It does not glow. It does not glow. No glow. No glow. No glow. I think. I was waiting for confirmation on that $22 bid. There was a bid after that. Was there a bid after that? I don't know. We're chatting about I tapping. Know. And you guys did not hear me say it does not glow. Somebody's multitasking, I think. I think that's it. Joanne's at 25. That's where we're at. Joanne's at 25. Joanne is at 25. We're going once. We're going twice. We're sold. Oh, yeah, it would be good for taco night. Making me want tacos now. Ah, boys and girls. Where are we at? We are at. Ooh, that, I've been oh, waiting. Those are so pretty. I've been waiting to show you these. Well, not show you. I showed them to you on a haul video. A little preview video. But I found out who they are. I didn't know who they were when I was showing them. There's my soul. Okay. Did we get the winner on that? You 
guys are talking about tacos and I'm losing things here. <laughs> well, da, 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 da. Who was our winning bidder? Joanne Young for $25. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, guys, raise your sights. Raise your sights. There are six, half a dozen of these fantastic glass eggs. But the best part is their Black Forest Collection limited edition from Germany. Here we go. There's only 10,000 of them out there. Made in 2001. They are vintage. I will give you a chance. Oh, Roman apparently has already looked up their comps on these. <laughs> yeah, these go for some big money. Big money. And we are at 65. 65 with Roman. 65 with Roman. Let me show you one close up. And we're going to start counting them down. We are going once. I see 75 with Sissy. Um, we just want to make sure we have your email, Sissy. I don't recognize your name. We're at 75. We're at $5 bid increments. I've got Denise at 80. Denise at 80. Roman is at 85. Roman's at 85. I said going once, didn't I? I think so. I think I did too. And we're going to say going twice. I was giving Rachel a chance to catch up on some lookups. But we're going to go ahead and call them sold. Love these. Love these. Ooh, power bid. They are worth it. Mm hmm. There's our soul, Debbie Labor, for $100. Now, I tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I bought those from the Dog Junkie Thrift Store, and I got them for a very good price that you saw in my video. I'm going to go back and give them some more money. So a portion of your uh, purchase is going back to the Dog Junkie's Thrift Store, which supports the A Home for Spot Animal Rescue. So thank you for that. All right. our next item here's a flashback to what the 80s <laughs> the bread dough 80s um this is scrub a dub dub it's giving him a bath There's so many things i'm sure can be said about this piece um it is it is a donut creation you can see there that's what's on the back uh yeah okay there we go more doggy save yeah so a home for spot actually their specialty what they do is they find the senior and the special needs dogs and they make sure that they get the care that they need and the fostering that they need for the rest of their lives the stuffed animal goes with this Maybe. High gloss polyurethane. Wait, it says ensure a long life to your dough art by keeping it protected with a coat of high gloss polyurethane or clear varnish whenever it starts to lose its luster. There you go. This hasn't lost his luster. Look at him. He's all shiny and soaked up. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, $16 with Cecilia. We're at $16 with Cecilia. We're gonna go in once. I'm gonna see who's blowing up my phone while uh, we do that. We'll say going twice. Nothing important. And we're gonna call it sold.
It's her son. <laughs> no. <laughs> just no. I'm just not going there. Okay. We're not talking about it. We're not talking about it. $20 to Melissa on that one. What time? What time is it? Yo, oh, we're doing so. We're, oh, wait. She bid 18 did, and then bid 20. Did you outbid yourself, Melissa? Double check. You did. What, what, are you, what are you doing that for? Oh, because somebody else had 18. No, somebody else was at 18. Oh, okay. She's all good. She's all, all good. All right. She's got it. No, it does not char. Only when it gets over $50. $1. One dollar bids. Okay, this is <clears throat> this is coming back. <coughs> this is coming back through because I had somebody who did not pay. So really hate that. Even sometimes when you're pre-registered and all that, you know, we we get we get non-payers, which kind of sucks. But your chance, second chance for the Grace Kelly paper dolls. Now let me show you. She's so there's a doll on the front, and she's she's a little. These have never been used, but she's a little loose on the front. Was Grace Kelly a little loose? I don't know. No. <laughs> this one is another paper doll, and she is all snug, and uh, all the pages are here, uncut, uncut. And I think we, 1940s is what we came with, came to on this before, 1940s paper dolls. So this is a second chance. If you wanted this before and you did not win, now is your chance. They're by Whitman, um, authorized edition. It was originally 15 cents, 15 cents for the Grace Kelly paper dolls. I thought maybe we found a date in here somewhere. Yes, oh, 1955, 1955, it's right there. We are at 16, we're at $20 with Sherry. You'll change what on sheet? Oh, oh my bad. How did I do that? I could have sworn I saw the, uh, Okay, my bad. But we got to do that other thing. Okay, I'll just let you fix it. She fixed it. Do, are we just switching? Did I just yeah. skip ahead one? Yeah. Ah, that's what I did. My bad. <laughs> it's my fault. I did it. Okay, we are at $30 with Sherry. $30 with Sherry. $35 with Roylene. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Julia. I'm sorry. Smack me. Come on, smack me. I deserve it. I messed it up. I'm, I, I can't really see my monitor. See, mom's supposed to be keeping me straight here. So let's blame it on mom. Because she didn't tell me I was picking up the wrong thing. I'm just saying. I was too engrossed in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Always blame it on mom. <laughs> That's okay. All right, we're at forty dollars with Royaline. Forty dollars going once. Forty dollars going twice. And so, you know what? It's because they were on top of the thing that ah uh, is next. That's the thing. So let me just make sure I'm picking up the right thing here now. Dog. For real, for real. Dogs. Yep, I blame mom. All right, and there's our souls. Sherry got those for $42, thank you. Okay, next we have a lovely, and I'm gonna try to show this whole thing. Let me just tell you what it is. So we've got a tablecloth with matching napkins, all hands, I think that is cross stitch. Correct me if I'm wrong, cross stitch. I'm gonna try to show the size of the tablecloth. Square, are we square? I need to step back where there's a dog and of course, 
I can't even show you the whole thing, but it is square, right? Yes, square. <laughs> Let me just fold a little bit here. It is linen for sure. It is vintage linen. And it has these beautiful baskets of flowers on it. Yeah, thank you. You can move that. So I don't know what I'm doing right now. Baskets of flowers all over it. It is lovely for a card table. Yeah, it would, it would definitely go on a card table. So it is the tablecloth and then the matching napkins. And there's one, two, three, four, five. There's six, six napkins. Tablecloth and six napkins. All the same. Matchy, matchy. We are $30 with Susan Way. Oh, yeah, this had to be a lot of work for someone. Mm -hmm. A lot of work. Deborah's got the power bid of $50 in there. $50 is with Deborah Heimbecker. And we are going once. And we are going twice. And sold. We are just flying right through. Sorry, ZDB. I'm sorry. Did I disturb you? Oh my gosh, the look she just gave me. Crazy dog. And it looks like these are going to. I just lost it here. What'd you just do? I was going to mine. Hmm. There we go. $55 to Deborah Heimbecker. All right. Next is a lot of, did I count them? I did not. Let me count them real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 pieces, okay? You're gonna get 11 pieces of vintage linens as follows. I'm gonna try to go through this fast. This is a big doily, a big crochet. I think this is machine crocheted is what someone was telling me. Is that machine crocheted? Looks like it. Yeah, so this is machine crocheted. This is what kind of killed the, the crochet industry, I'm told. But it is vintage and beautiful nonetheless. So we've got that piece. We have this little, just the little edge is crocheted, this little doily with a crocheted edge. We have a little cro or crochet, um, needlepoint hanky. Embroidered. This is embroidered. Embroidered? Yes, embroidered. What did I say, needlepoint? Embroidered hanky. We have a napkin. I guess that's a napkin. Embroidered napkin. Okay. We have another. Oh, this is a tea towel, right? Is that mm -hmm. a tea towel or a napkin? Tea towel. Yeah, it's too big for a napkin. Dish towel. They call little it little napkin. dish towel. Little tea towel. With little little applique. It's applique little pieces on there. You see that linen, definitely linen, it's like starched linen. Mm -hmm. This is a dresser, dresser scarf. scarf. Which is the front? Which is the back? I'm trying to figure out which is the. This is the front. So you, I should could have put this in the purple sale. It's got purple flowers. Look at that. It did have. Thought I saw a little spot. Yeah, it does. Has a little spot right there. Somebody smudged on their dresser. Not good. I don't try to wash any of this stuff. I don't soak. I don't wash. I don't do nothing, you guys. I don't have time. I don't have time to get my own laundry done. This piece is another dresser scarf. And this one has the edges are a little needing, needing a little TLC. The dainty little crocheted edges are a little, a little separated. We'll call it separated. I don't see any schmudges on this one. 
schmooges, you know, that is a technical term. Technical term. All right, we've got, this is a, what is that? Another tea towel? It could be a towel, yeah. I think this is supposed to be a tea towel. I thought it was a pillowcase at first, but it's not. It is a towel with all of that little cuteness on it. And it's like a, it's that, it's like bark cloth almost, right? Is that, they call it Aida cloth. Aida cloth. Who knew? All right. Textured. Rubby. It's a rubby cloth. Okay. Check this out, guys. Another. Look at her. Look how sweet she is. And on this side, this side, we have her little partner there. So, and it's green with a little green crocheted edge. Got that piece. Almost done. This is a tablecloth. Is it? No. Yes, yeah, small one. Now it have to be a little teeny tiny tablecloth. I'm going to call this a towel. We used to put those on a card table, kitty corner. Oh, a little card table cover. Okay, all right. Mom says it's a card table cover. Every corner has the basket of flowers. There's a basket of embroidered flowers in every corner. And last but not least, this piece needs a little TLC, but it's a multi-piece lot. It's not going to change the shipping at all. It looks like this is in the days of cigarettes. That is very sad. So just consider this thrown in as a freebie. All right. You're getting it all, and we are at $21. Is that where we're at? $21. Is that where we're at? Is that my high bid? If it is, I'm going to say going once, going twice. And sold. Okay, um, Julia, hold off before you do anything. I may change something up. No, I won't. I, I, I'll, I'll go with what. Where did I put? Can you scroll down? Because I'm trying to figure out where I put the. Where did I put the lumber? Okay, type in longer burger lot. Where? Right over instead of what's next. Oh. Oh. Wait, Julia. Wait, 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 Julia. I see Julia's thing there. Yeah, there you go. What is it? Longa Burger. No. Er, E R. E R. L O G. Okay, good. She caught, I caught her. I caught her. Okay, just changing it around a little bit because I have time to get to some of this better stuff. Um, this is Longa Burger. This is. Oh, last one went for $26. You got that. Okay, we're good. You got it. Okay, this is a little Longa Burger basket. You're going to bid on the basket. There you go. I don't know what all those little numbers and things mean because I just don't know Longa Burger that well, but that's what you got there. So it's this little guy, but you're bidding on more than that. Let me just give you, this is five and a half inches diameter. It's kind of diameter. It's, it's a hex, hexagon. Hexagon, one, two, three. No, it's oct a hexagon. hexagon. Six, six, hex. And you're getting the Longer Burger pottery little ramekin bowls. There are four of them. Look at that. Look at that. I didn't even know Longer Burger made these. So you're getting the basket and the four little ramekins. All one money. And we are at $20 with decor and more. $20 is with decor and more. And if you want to put in that next spot this instead of what's there. $27 with Kathleen Dumas. I, I guess I would call that a piano skirt. Is that what it is? I think so. Yeah. Okay. 
We're at $27 going once. I see you're 30, Cindy C, but we're going twice. Dipping bowls. Yeah, they could be. We're going to call them. I got 30 in three places. Seeing if somebody's going to break that. And I'm going to call them sold. We'll see what happens. You got it in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm tripping over the dog. It's my kid. Carved out over here. And then, um, da -da -da -da. Um, and then this will be the next one after that. Okay. That's got a name on it. Sally Hutch. Yes. All right. Roman Leverins for $35. Next, we've got this funky. It's a funky fringy. We're going to call it a piano scarf because I don't know what else you'd call it. <laughs> it's got the fringe. Look, it's got all the fringe. It looks very 60s, 70s to me. Very 60s, 70s if you ask me. But there's only one side that doesn't have the fringe. It's kind of kind of wild. I guess it could be like, I mean, it could, you know, it could. Could it be could a be a happy. It could be like a, a poncho kind of a thing too. Serape. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. So they're saying serape. Okay, we'll call it a serape. Uh, you can put it on your piano or you can call it a serape. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you piano. want. <laughs> the fringe is kind of spectacular though. You gotta, you gotta, gotta admit, look at that fringe. Shawl, serape. Yeah, it's a linen. It's a very thick linen material. It's cotton, right? It's cotton. Yeah, yeah, Susan. yeah. It's cotton. Thank you, Susan. We're at twenty-five with Susan Way. If you have spent fifty dollars or if paying more than twenty-five puts you over fifty dollars, we're at free shipping on this item then too. Fringeless edges for neck and shoulders. I'll, I'll take it. Whatever you say. Is it a wedding shawl? I don't know. You'd put it on your bed. I don't know. I don't even know what I would do with it. I just thought it was cool. I just buy stuff because I think it's cool. <laughs> All right. We're at $25 going once. Look at the length of that fringe. Going twice. So. Got that in there? Okay. Oh, 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 we have a request. Yeah, oh. change that out for that. For yes. this? Yeah. Okay. So put the, yeah. You got it, Julia. That went to Roman for $30. The Serape or Gerongo is a long blanket like shawl, often brightly colored and fringed at the ends, worn in Mexico, especially by men. Okay. <laughs> all right. Isn't this bag fantastic? I believe this is all kind of hand painted on here. This is a Sally Huss. Sally. Huss. Sally Huss. Sun and Sand Accessories. It's new with tags, by the way. It is Sally Huss. H-U-S-S. H-U-S-S. This is a wood flower. A wood hibiscus. Um, it is a tote bag with lots of room inside there. It's got a, this little liner thing goes on the bottom so that it sits nice. It's got a zippered pocket on the side with this little taggy waggy in there. There is a little bit of discoloration above the zipper. Oh, what? Oh. I just found money in it. <laughs> Want some candy? No. Ew. I know. Put that in the trash over there. <laughs> Got candy and a dollar bill in there. Well, even though it has its tag, apparently she must have used it at least once. <laughs> All right. We're at $6 with Tammy A. 
six dollars with Tammy A. I see 15 with Jeannie's Galleria. Power bid 15 it means we're going once because it's time to get stuff away in just a moment. We're going twice. We're going to call it sold. This is what we do at the end. We pop it right along. Pop and right along. Pop and right along. I know you guys saw these and you want these. So we're going to do these. Ooh, I guess I could have cleaned them out, huh? They're a little, they're a little dusty. Does it match the shawl? Huh? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it came from the same place. Let's just put it that way. All right, that went for 25 to Jeannie's Galleria. All right, this was the special request. You can thank Julia for getting these added back into the sale. They were supposed to be in the sale. I don't know what happened. They are cobalt blue glass candle holders. And they are a little, that there is actually a little bit of wax that I did not get off of there before I offered these up for sale. My bad. There, scrapes right off. <laughs> they are a thick, I don't know, you guys, are they fire and light? Is there something I don't know? Come on now. I have no idea. I don't know who done them. Didn't research them. They are not marked. Mm. They could be good. They could be good. I simply bought them because they were cobalt blue. Yes, there is a bubble. Which one has the bubble? This has an internal bubble that you see in there. Oh, see it floating, floating in there. We are at $20, $21. 21 with rose, 21 is with rose, 22 is with Melissa, 22 with Melissa, we're going once, 25 with Jeannie's Galleria, going twice, I'm at $25, and calling them so. And there it is. I see the sold. I see Roiline at $30. I see Roiline at $30. Somebody asked for more Tanala animals. How about a quail? A quail bird. A bird quail. This is got the Mexico mark on him. He's pretty good sized. Let me tell you how big he is. He is five and a half inches long by five and a half inches tall. We have got the little Tonala quail and we are at $18. What a little birdie. I love the big eye they put on him. Wish my light wasn't like glaring off of him. It's painted very nicely, very nicely. We have a power bid of $30. $30 for Kara. We're going to say going once. I see 31 came in. We're still going to say going twice. I see your 35. And we're going to call him. <laughs> Sold. I'm ignoring Michael now. I'm just ignoring Michael now. He's having way too much fun <laughs> at my expense. It's okay. It's okay, Michael. And it looks like Kara, you held in there. You got it for $40. $40. Don't start dreaming. Don't start dreaming. All right. How about a Tanala? Owl. This is a large. You know what? We need to put, we need to add large. Could somebody add large to the Tanala Owl thing? Maybe Rachel, if you could, because we had another one that I just called Tanala Owl on the spreadsheet and I don't want, I need to know which is which. So we just need to add large to this one. If somebody would be so kind. Nope, they can do it. They can do it. Rachel will be on it. 
There she goes. There she goes. All right. Okay, we've got the large Tonala Owl. Um, seeing if she's marked. Let's see. He is not signed. He is not signed. And I don't know if the older ones just didn't get signed or what. I find a lot of the older ones don't have the signature. And you can tell he's an older one because he's got just some natural wear to the paint. He's got the wear to the feet tips that happens over age. And he is five inches by five and a half inches. He's kind of a chubby little guy. You see? With his big flower. We are at $33. Okay, thank you. Thank you for verifying that for me. Yeah, the older ones were not signed. I think what happened is they made them and then they, they figured out that the tourist trade really ate them up. So then they wanted to start putting, you know, Mexico. And, and then Ken Edwards came along. So if you ever find them with a KE, KE are more valuable than the average Tanala pottery piece. So just keep that in mind. We are at 34 with Melissa. 34 with Melissa on the owl. And we're going once. We're going we're gonna to end ahead of time. We did really good today. We're going twice. And we are sold. I hope this didn't have purple. Wait, is this purple? I thought I was going to keep this for the purple sale because it had purple. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's already on the spreadsheet. Tammy D snuck in at $35. Tammy D for $35. All right, this is our last item before the giveaway drawing, guys. Last item before the giveaway. I hope this comes out in the video with my lighting the way it looks. So this is a candle holder. Let me get close up. Those are little glass panels. They are not real butterflies. No butterflies were harmed in the making of this candle holder. There is the back. It holds three little tea lights on the back side. And believe it or not, this is a party light. I have never seen a party light like this. I think this would just be so pretty with the candles glowing behind the butterflies, making the butterflies look like they were flying. Wouldn't that be cool? It's got some weight to it. It's, it's actually a really well-built piece. And I think I picked this up because it does have purple. What are those? Are those lilacs down there? That's lilacs, right? Yeah. Lilacs. We've got lag going. Lag going. We've got two bids coming in at 10, but I see Lolo first. I see Lolo at 10. I see Susan at 15. Susan's at 15. Susan is at 15. I got 15 in a couple places coming in, but I still got Susan at 15. We're gonna count it down. Probably $80 new. You are not kidding. You are not kidding. Party light was super expensive. I did not look up what this piece is going for, but I suspect this brings a good a good penny now on, on eBay. We are at 25 with Jeannie's Galleria. 25 with Jeannie's Galleria. 27 with Kathleen Dumas. $27 with Kathleen. I'm going to count it down. Going once. Because I want to give stuff away. Going twice. And I'm going to call it Soul. Ooh, we got through everything. That's so exciting. We're finishing up. Finishing up. Oh, my gosh. I just spotted something over in the closet that I should have sold. In the spring sale, that I'm maybe gonna slip into the mystery box. I don't think I'm gonna slip it into the mystery box. Somebody's gonna like that piece. Yes. There we go. Thirty-two dollars to Susan Way. 
All right, let me get my little giveaways. What are my giveaways? We got the cat mug. Okay, here's how the giveaway works. The first person I draw gets their first choice and then so on and so on. So please, please, please be ready if you hear your name to say which item you want. Because I'm going to go through these pretty quick. So if you have a delay in telling me which item you want, the second person might get the first pick and all of that. So, all right. We have the cat mug. It's not Morris. I don't believe this is Morris. It's double-sided there. This is... Queen's Fine Bone China Frolicking Cats. And it is a fine bone china. Kitty cat. We got that. We have coyote. We have a sit about of a little coyote with its little coyote baby. Teaching the little baby how to do the howling at the moon kind of stuff. Or is that wolves that do howling at the moon? And then we have squirrel. <laughs> um, this little guy is a bisque porcelain. He is vintage. He's got a little number down below. So we've got squirrel. Oh. And we've got a little wooden painted owl. I don't know what his story is. He's just a little painted wood owl. Looks like he could be from Mexico but there is no sign on him. Hello, Ozzy. And then what's the, uh, what's the, cat play. Oh, yeah. and then we have another cat. We have a little folk art cat wall hanging kind of a thing going on here. Oh, the legs move, front legs move, tail oh. moves. So when we got him, and of course, then we have $10 of shipping credit. Okay. Now your job, go scroll back up to the top of there so you can tell me who the winner is when I ask. Top who, of what? The, the spreadsheet. There you go. Who was the winner for lot number two? Tammy D. Tammy D. Tammy D. Tammy D. Tammy, Tammy D. Thank you, Julia. You are so good at doing that. Tammy D must speak up. Lot six. Tammy Vintage. Um, Tammy D wants the owl. Tammy Vintage. What did I say? Tidbits. Tammy Vintage Tidbits. Tammy Vintage Tidbits, are you still with us? Oh, somebody else is doing that. Okay. Yeah, you just stay up here because I need okay. to see who the winner is. I did not do the fairy lamp. Stay tuned for what happens with the fairy lamp. And the next winner is... Oh, what did I say? Can you highlight that for me when I... What are you doing? This the one? winner. Mm -hmm, the winner of seven. Seven. Jeannie Galleria. Je Hello, Lucky. Jeannie Galleria. Jeannie Galleria. I know you're still here. You just got to tell me which item you want. Um, lot 11. Patty Shaw! You gotta tell me which item you want, Jeannie. You guys, be ready to tell me which item you want. We've got coyotes, we've got a squirrel, we've got a cat mug, a cat plaque, and $10 shipping credit. Patty would like the squirrel. Patty gets the squirrel. So, Jeannie, it's the cat mug, the cat plaque, the coyotes, or the $10 shipping credit. I got patties. I got patties. 
Lot number. Marie Smith. Marie Smith. Genies takes the wood cat. Okay, Genies takes the wood cat. Really, Zena? You gotta pop your head up now. Really? Marie takes the mug. Marie takes the mug. Okay, a lot. Is it Callisto Antiques? Is Callisto Antiques still here? Was it Callisto or Calypso? Uh oh. Callisto Antiques, are you still here? Okay, who who are we waiting to do a pick here? Who has not picked their Calypso Antiques? It's Calypso Antiques. Calypso. Okay, because I couldn't see. We got to make sure that that. Yep. We'll be in trouble if we don't get that on there right. And if I start correcting, it's gonna. Take the whole thing out, isn't it? Well, here. Oh, come up. I don't know how just, to do that. You put your cursor. Put your cursor there. Where to be? Oh. oh. There we go. I still think it's spelled wrong, though. Callisto? Yeah, I'll fix it later. It's the opposite. I'll fix it later. Okay. And they don't seem to be here, so it's all good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Um, oh, Jerry Ellsworth. Jerry Ellsworth. Jerry Ellsworth, are you here? I thought somebody, somebody took the mug, right? Yes. Yeah. So we got coyotes and some shipping. I know, we got to wrap it up. I'm with you. Just waiting for people to respond. Jerry Ellsworth, if you're still here. Oh, goodness gracious. Lynn Combo or Combo, Combo, Combo. Lynn. <laughs> Lynn, are you still here? We're going to get down to where you're going to miss out on your choice because I'm going to wrap this up by drawing and getting it done. There's only two items left. You guys leave too early. Lynn, would you like the coyotes or the $10 shipping credit? Coyotes or $10 shipping credit? Lynn takes the coyotes. And then uh, Lorraine Lowry. Lorraine Lowry. Are you still here? If Lorraine is still here, she's going to get the shipping credit. All you got to do is say you're still here and you are good to go. We start at 1 p.m. Pacific time every Friday. I'll just, as we're, we're waiting to see if, Lynn, if Lorraine is still here, um, I just want to put a call out of thank you to all of my amazing moderators, helpers behind the scenes. I cannot do this alone. There's no way, no how. They are severely underpaid for what they do. As in, like, I need to give them, you guys, I am doubling your pay. All of you are getting a raise. Yay. Okay. <laughs> No, but for real, like I cannot do this without them. I can't do this without you guys. So I really appreciate everybody showing up on Fridays and bidding on this stuff and making me feel very comfortable offering you better and better stuff. I was scared. And when I first started these, I'm like, but I could sell that on eBay. It's like, no, you guys are good. You're fair. You give me good prices on stuff. And I really appreciate it. And it supports the Niche Foundation without paying fees to eBay, which I love too. 
So with that, everyone, have the most fantastic weekend you can possibly have. And we will see you again live on Monday at one o'clock, not for a live sale, just for some chat. And uh, again, live sale next week. But with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one. I got to figure out how to end this thing. Sharon a Mouse.